Welcome to Six Sides of Leviathan's The Great War by Catalyst Game Labs. I'm here with two very special guests, Bryn and Randall. How's it going, guys? Fantastic. It's going good. We're ready to blow stuff up today. We've got incredibly what? happy to be here. Just a few hours left on the Kickstarter at this stage in the game, and we are going to show people just how cool this game is. Absolutely. All right, let's start with how did you guys come up with the, the idea to, to rebuild this game or to, to redo it and redesign it? Let's take that one. <clears throat> well, we always wanted to bring this game back. Uh, it's much loved and really the fans are what kept this alight. Uh, uh, we mentioned this at the very beginning of the Kickstarter, but at every year, because this has been 10 years, it's hard to believe that it's already been a decade wow. since we first published this. But every year at every convention that I have ever been to, we go and eventually there'll be somebody that'll come up and ask incredibly politely, when is Leviathan's gonna come back? And then we'll sit and we'll talk about how great the game is and how much we love the universe. And we'll be like, you know, it's not quite here yet, but we're still working on it. And that flow <laughs> of love and support from the community is absolutely a huge part of what made us reach this point to be able to do this. So this is a, your own IP? Like this is a, yes. Leviathan's is not like an IP from like the Battletech days, for example, because you, you are the Battletech people. This Correct. is your own IP <laughs> Correct. that has had its own uh, fiction, and this is now the remake of the game. Correct. Yep. Wow. Well, let's break into it and see exactly how to play this. While we often use the term steampunk because there's a little bit of that vibe in it. I see that. Uh, usually steampunk has more of a dirigible hot air balloon vibe to it, where mm -hmm. these are, you know, multi 10,000 ton vessels flying through the air, trying to destroy each other. So it just has a, a much meatier larger feel to it. I mean, I don't even, I can't even begin to comprehend the kind of power generation and fuel <laughs> that it would take to fly multi-ton vessels in the air yep. like this. Like this, you know. So break it down for me. Let's start from the very beginning. Yeah, so we got two factions here. Um, we have the Germans on this side. We do actually have a British substitute because one of our models went missing from Gen Con. Over here, we actually have the French and an Italian battleship to kind of show off several different factions. I see. At the same time over here, so you have the the blue trimmed guys are all the French ships, and then the green at the back here is the Italian battleship. Hey! Exactly. Plus it's also like a giant salami, so... <laughs> <laughs> it is sleek. It, it is very, I love, very I love sleek. The I mean, the Italians, you know, they, they, they go for the look good. That's right. And, all right, and so you're all on angles. Yeah, so we have our hex board that all of these guys come down on, on top of. We have our different bases. The battleship, for instance, has the entire four hexes that it lays over top of the grid to match up to it. I was and just going to say, yeah. Yep. Oh. I was just going to say, there we go. Go ahead, four hexes. Yeah, so these four hexes there, we actually have also a little reference stand for different stats, but this is what you're going to be moving around the board. Cool. All right. I will not touch these ships again. Not... It was really just that one. But usually you're grabbing <laughs> by, the, the one I pick. by the bases. All right. Very cool. Now, uh, how do you play? All right. So we have our ship cards. Go ahead and bring out, for instance, my uh, SML Brandenburg right here. He represents this guy over here, this cruiser. Um, he has various stats on him, his structural integrity, what type of ship he is, how fast he moves, and then the various guns, armor, and engines that operate this vessel. Uh, the game of Leviathans is breaking, broken down into multiple turns. Mm -hmm. um, there will be Most games are six turns. In that, you will have a move phase where you're going to go back and forth moving your ships, and then a fire phase where you all blow each other up at the same time. Six turns. Does that mean that the game is over no matter what at six turns and that it is a point-based game or is it like complete elimination and you have six turns to do it or there will be a, a consequence to that? It is six turns and it is point-based. We have found through most, even in the old game, most games are generally done by six turns. You know who's going to win and then there is a point system that will help determine that. And this is this is so that because other games go until elimination, this actually is actually putting a, a pretty interesting time limit to the way the game runs so you can actually say the game runs in like what, 60 minutes? Uh, it is generally going to be 90 uh, to 120, depending on how fast you go, but it'll always be done within that time Yeah, frame. so you won't have like that that endless dog fight where it's- Exactly. Just, I see, yep. very cool. Okay, so six turns. Uh, what else we got? 
I like you mentioned earlier structural integrity. That is interesting. Instead of health points, that means I guess I'm assuming that when this goes, the ship goes down. Yeah. So um, there'll be sh during the shooting, you're slowly removing these slots from the game. You know, you'll lose this gun, and then you don't have it in the future. And there's slowly a wear and tear. And if you destroy enough of these slots, eventually you have a chance to blow up the ship, which we'll get to. And that's where the structural integrity number comes in. Where if you hit that number, it will in fact just drop out of the sky. Amazing. Two phases. Movement phase, shooting phase. Yep. Break down. All right, so we're just going to kind of go into it from here. Um, during the movement phase, you always start with your biggest ship and the other person's biggest ship going back and forth. Um, there are generally whoever has the least points is going to decide who goes first on initiative. We are actually both tied at a thousand points, so we'll just roll off. Always to break the tie. I noticed you're using D12s. Yeah, so real quick, uh, sorry, what did you roll? 14. 14, I got a 10, so you will decide. Yep. So going over these dice, mm -hmm. these are a little deceptive here, but they're actually not all D12s. Oh, wait a second. That right that's there. That's a D4. That's a D4. Yeah. Wow. That is a D4, a 6, 8, 10, and 12. So they are all have the same number of signs, but their maximum numbers are all different. That's brilliant. So, so why did you make this decision? This is cool, by the way. The goal of it was to make Leviathans as easy to get into as possible for especially a board game crowd trying to get into miniatures. Fascinating. Um, but also just allows the uh, experience of the game to go faster instead of being bogged down by modifiers. Wow. So for instance, you can see a crew adds a green. So it's just saying quickly add this green die. So instead of other games where, you know, how far did a person move and the ranges and adding up those numbers to figure out a target hit, I'm going to get out of a crew die and a gun die and a location die, and I roll those together and add that up. All together. And that's it. Yes. Straight up. So you guys, you guys roll off because your points are the same. Yes. And the point build is like most other um, uh, battle tactic games where you, you have a point cap and you build up to that point cap as best as you can. Exactly. And there is definitely some strategy because you're not going to normally know what the other person's doing. Um, you know, a battleship up here is around 400 points to 500. Um, of the thousand points total, so they take up the majority of that. Cruisers are around 200 to 250. Destroyers about 160 to, to 200. We actually have some fighters we'll be showing off here. They're these little tokens as they're just mock-ups, as well as some admiral cards, as some other things that cost points that can be built in to your entire fleet as you take it out. I love that you're gonna have little little planes. Little yeah. Planners. That's fantastic. All right, so Did with- Are there deployment, deployment rules? There okay. are deployment rules. We would normally go back and forth, just kind of get into it For here. For the sake, we're just dropping them we're down. We're just dropping just drop them down. Them you would normally, the exact same, edge once, edge. Yeah. yes, once he has figured out the initiative, he then can decide which one of us places down first, and you place a ship, and he places a ship back and forth. Um, there are also ways that clouds are deployed through cards. Again, we're just placing these down here. Mm -hmm. um, and I won initiative. Yes. Okay, so when you win initiative the, uh, for the very beginning part of the game, you get to decide who's going to go first. See. I'm actually going to let Bryn go first. So is there a and benefit so to that? Or is there like just because speaking? What are it the depends on how you're setting up. Uh, my Italian battleship is incredibly mobile. It's right. very maneuverable, the best maneuvering that you can get on a battleship. So I want to see what he does first. So you can maneuver So then I can try to position how I want to go. Are there many occasions where you want to go first? Just or is that built like on how your army is built or like what are the benefits of you going first if you wanted to? It is, it's a, it's a rather small slice. Um, most of the time, it's almost always better to see what the other person does. But if there's a spot that you want to get to before the other person, then you will then want to go first to make sure you get there before they can. Stuff like that or, you know, going into clouds and there's only so much room in the clouds right. for your big ship. That type of stuff is where you would want to go first. Again, here, when we're just seeing back and forth, just totally. This is strictly father and son going at this. This is, this is you guys are literally, this fire Absolutely. Right now is, well, for, can, the, for those that watched our live stream from Gen Con, I believe this is going to be Bren trying to get redeem get the fact oh, well, well, that I forced him to shave his beard, so. <laughs> On that note, are we going to up the ante in this game again? Is it, or are we just gonna let this one be for fun? Because I mean, this is something that it's the last day, right? Are you gonna up the ante? And <coughs> what are we doing here? Are we doing another beard off or? I don't know maybe, if I have maybe a beard, beard, beard off. Say, I'm maybe not your sure. head can be shaved. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I can do that just fine. I've shaved my head. I don't think, I don't think uh, Bren's willing to do that. <laughs> so. 
We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. We'll come back to that in a future one. <laughs> the worst is so bad. And so it's so tempting, but I know I'm gonna lose if I bet it. Like I'm guaranteed to That's lose. That's the that. point. All right, here we go. Uh, right, so, so roll that die over to your side. So you are now moving first. Yes. Will, will there be a token for that? Or you, you the, yeah, there'll be a token to do uh, that type of stuff. With. Absolutely. Okay. So my uh, German battleship, as opposed to the very maneuverable Italian is the least maneuverable. He has a starting MP of three, so he moves three spaces. So movement spaces, so how does yep. movement work? So movement, this is a little, you know, cost one to move forward, then the two, then the three, just like that. I see why this um, Turning costs a movement point as well. Um, and you turn for a battleship on the second from the front. So he would turn like that for one point. It's always the second from the front? Uh, for the battleship, yes. Wow. Always the second from the front. So if he was here, and you were to turn, you would be potentially causing, you know, you'd be smashing. So there's actually, uh, in the old rules, that's actually how that would happen. In the new rules, a ship going first gets priority, and so he gets to stay there, and the other ship has to move on its turn. So, so if the other ship doesn't move, then the collision happens? Then a collision would occur, yes. Interesting. Okay, yes. cool. All right, well then, I'll just... Uh... Yep. Um, the only other thing is the enter hexes before turn, um, that's how many hexes, because these are large ships, that's how many hexes I need to move before turning. So uh, oh, this guy's actually kind of special because it says three movement and it needs to move three spaces, but he has a steering gear on his side that reduces that number by one. So it's actually a two. So you have to move forward twice before you can turn. Yeah. Yes. It's to represent the inertia that was yeah, built again, up these on are, a big vessel. As, as discussed, these are not X-wings. These no, are not no, dirigibles. Yeah. These are large pieces of metal. Now, yeah. this guy, he's got one job. He wants to get the other side. He doesn't move very fast. So it's going to be one, two, three. That's it. He just, he wants to, yeah, I can see there's like a thousand guns on this. Yep. He just want to get wants, right in the middle of it. He wants to get right in so range. So what's the uh, 14? Yes, he has a 14 gun. So what is so 14? 14, 14, 2, 3, oh, 14, 2, 4, 14 5, hexes. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So as I'm playing then, I know if I get past this line, mm -hmm. I'm now in range of his guns. And you're automatically now, automatically allowed to uh, eventually, Oh, sure. Yeah. Now, eventually, I'm going to want to do that, but I only have 13. Um, so he has one hex on me, so I'm not exactly sure whether I want to get into range yet or not. I see. Um, and so, that's why I kind of count out like that, because here's my safe zone, right? And so um, it's, it's one. So he does his big ship, then you do your big ship, and then correct. after that, you should go down by size of ship, or you just you, your choice at that point. Three, two, three. It'll be size of ship. Four, five. Now you've entered the you've entered the cloud. Is yeah. there any rules for any or all of your ship hitting the cloud tile? Movement wise, interaction, no. I mean, it's you know water in the air. Shooting has an impact with claps. Right. And we'll get to that, but it makes it harder to shoot. Can I just say, I love these. Of all of the tokens on a battle game that I've seen in a long time, just putting clouds like this to fit in the hexes is really, really cool. Yeah, we're really, we're really happy and with And these those. come in the game, right? Yeah. Oh, yes, they'll be, they'll be coming. Yeah. Man, I'm totally- They'll be I'm totally properly gonna... sized and they'll have hexes on yeah. them. <laughs> oh, really? These are, these are mock -ups. I was yeah. just gonna say, I kinda like that they don't, but would be, I'm gonna get little things and like put them up like this so that they can order. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally gonna mod my-, my Well, my, interestingly my enough, you could almost do one side with and one side without. Oh, that's 100%. a great idea. There I just go. thought about that. Yeah, 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 I just thought about I'm it in the moment. Like, I'm just thinking, put a there's no reason not like to. This and you can go underneath. Yeah, so, so you because, the, because some players it does will better, want, but it does. you have to deal with it. Or flip it over when you actually have to deal with it. it Lots exactly. of awesome. Seriously, though, imagine like a stand. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, no, it's good stuff. All right, next video. All right, so he has moved his battleship. It is now to my next biggest size. So there are the types. This guy right here is a type four. My next biggest is the Type 2, the Brandenburg, as I referenced earlier. Mm -hmm. So now he is going to go. He has a speed of five. If you have multiple Type 2s, you choose, it's, it's dealer's choice. They will all move at the same time. So you'd move both so of them? So if I, he actually does have two, so he will do that in a second. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so even if he had three, he would still move all of them at that two, ship type on his turn. Four. And then come over to my side. Five. So, so he's only moving one, Type 2. Okay. I now he's now done. Gone. It's now my turn. Right. Now I move both of my type twos. But I have a question. Yep. Was the decision, was the decision uh, for letting the bigger ships go first because the smaller ones are more maneuverable, therefore, or was it just like, because usually you'd think that the smaller ships would go first because of speed and inertia. 
but is it like, what was your reasoning for having the big ships go first? Yeah, it's exactly that. Is that the, you get to decide later in the game where you get to move very similar to initiative where he wanted to see what I'm doing. Right. The little ships get to see where the big ships are and then because get themselves- Because they're more maneuverable. Because they're more maneuverable. Exactly. Love it. All right, sorry, let's go back to this. Okay, so you're okay. moving your two, you, these two ships- Yeah, so now exactly. these are my type twos and I'm going to apologize uh, to, the, to, the the, to the French speaking because I don't even remotely know how oh, to I pronounce can tell it. You. So Jean, this is- Jean d'Arc. Jean d'Arc. Jean d'Arc. It's Jean, Jean of Arc, okay. Yeah. And, uh, what is it? Because we are in Canada. Yeah. The French is our, our second host. Yeah, yeah. Breton. Uh, Breton. 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 It's the Breton Falcon. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to trust Tommy in which, this moment, I which I, know, I realize is dangerous. Uh, it's very dangerous. <laughs> Breton. Breton and the Jean d'Arc. It is Breton. It's like D'Artagnan. So it's Breton. Yeah. Okay. The G is. So we have the Breton here, and he has a movement of eight. And again, we got this line again, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could in fact go shooting off on that if I wanted to, but I do not want to get into that yet because my guns on my cruiser here is much shorter. So you just like pull. So I'm just doing that and then the, the same the thing. Now. Yep. And so then the Breton, no, no, Jean d'Arc over here. And we'll do one, two, she also has eight, three, four. This is your uh, line. Five, six, seven, eight. There we go. You're just exposing your flank. Yep. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. So now back over to Bryn, and now it's time for his type ones as destroyers. Yep. I've got so two destroyers. Both at the same time. Yep. So I've got two guys here. I've got my SMO Silo. Um, this is a more standard gunboat destroyer, um, and he's represented my my British guy here. Um. One, two, three, four, five. I can see people really getting into this. And we'll stop there. And then my wolf is actually a very special ship. Ugh. His the, purpose- The flying brick. His purpose as the flying brick is to defend the bigger ship. He only has one gun, he's all armor. So he always sticks near to the guys that need his help. And can he go in front and block and stuff? Yes. He can front. in the future, there, yes. There's, you, you spend movement points to do screening. And so you can actually put yourself in the way, in harm's way. Uh, and any ship can do that, but the wolf is actually designed with a whole bunch of extra armor slots to be extra effective at it. Wow. And I hate that ship. I mean, I love it, but I hate that <laughs> ship. Okay, right, you're over to me for my grenadier. Eight as well. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and you'll know that I kind of went off a little bit. Yeah, is and, there a rule for that? Uh, generally, the rule is is if half of the ship is still on, then you can do that. Okay, so you're not. But what happens if your ship goes completely off? Technically, you can't, you can't do I'd that. say you can't, you can't do that. And if you're going to do that, then you've you need killed to, your ship. you've killed your ship. Okay, so the ship does. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Okay. All right, so All right. everybody's moved. Except uh, the little, planes. little planes now. So we got these little guys. Again, these are mock-ups. I've got a green fighter and a veteran bomber. He has a veteran fighter. I do have more points in these. I have more points in these, but that's because he has the two cruisers. Right. And it balances out there. Um, so my fighter has a movement of 12. Um, so he's just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got a little dot for the facing. Yep. He actually does still spend a point. Um, he still has hexes before turn but it's actually a 0. 0.5, which means he can turn two in a go. So we can theoretically you know, almost turn around. Yep. He's gonna go this seven, eight, nine, ten. And he's gonna hide in there. Yeah. <laughs> and then my bomber. Oh, they move fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and slide. then coming over, my veteran fighter has a move of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Got a turn seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, you're putting them on the open. Yep. I take it they're pretty easy to pop. They are pretty easy to pop. You actually have to be adjacent to interact with them. Uh, I should note that the planes are still going through playtesting. They're one of the last things we are still working on. They'll be going out to the main playtester group right after the Kickstarter ends. So some of this will change depending upon how that feedback goes. Of course. All right, okay. so, that wraps up so all of our movements. everything moves, yep. now there's a firing phase. There is a firing phase. However, we also check because he established that line, 
I don't believe there will be any shots. No, no, the planes can't get each The other? planes are all adjacent shooting. Oh, they don't have the range of the makes sense. weapons yeah, are much smaller. Hold out scale. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. So, right, so in, then, in this particular case, there isn't anything. So then we're going to rotate over to turn two. He'll give the die to me so I can remember that I have to start moving first. And yeah, initiative just goes back and forth. It doesn't keep rolling. Okay. Uh, so, however, now we have one of the things that we get to start to do yes. before movement, which is torpedoes. Okay. So my ship have aerial torpedoes. Now, area of torpedoes, both in the old game and the new game, are really about area of denial. Okay, I see. meaning I'm going to place them out there and I'm either going to force you to move from the path you wanted to go or know that, okay, you're going to come in, but you're potentially going to take a torpedo. So the tor okay? oh, I see. So the torpedoes aren't like heat sinking on you. No, no, just, no, no. This is, this is, this is still, you. this is still the great war. This is still technology. That's a lot less, uh, than today. And so you're literally just throwing a torpedo over the side that's then floating there and then its engine spins up and it just goes shooting off where you where you put it, okay? So the torpedo isn't something that is like a heat sinker. It is, it is actually just a torpedo that is old school, as you're saying, engine going across and it's cutting off a lane. So that way if the thing goes into that lane or goes into the spot where the torpedo is, it takes the damage? Correct. Okay, like everyone loves the area of torpedoes. They're a very cool mechanic, but it's a little fiddly to draw the line out, to have to do it along. And this game doesn't have any line rulers I've seen. Um, so. so far, correct. There's very little of that in this game, okay? Um, so we've actually, Bryn and his crew, uh, developed a new version on this, which is fantastic, um, which is, I am the same thing. So if I'm looking on my slot, I have a torpedo, it's 12 hexes. Right. And you, it's so I'm gonna count out here, Okay, this is my forward arc. So I'm gonna count out wherever I want, 12 hexes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So okay. Anywhere in that, in this in this arc. Yeah. Now, interestingly enough, that would normally be the case, but this particular torpedo has a T on it, which means it's in the turret, which means I can now rotate from here over to here or clear over to this oh, side. Your turret can so rotate. this whole board is now open to me. Okay, so I can then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Because really, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to his battleship. Okay. This I find fascinating. And I'll tell you why. And the reason I'm trying to get to his battleship is that a little guy is just going to be able to zoom out and around past these, yeah. right? I have to get to his really slow ships where he has no choice. Okay. Okay. So there's nothing around this. This is the only hex that matters with the torpedo. Okay. Well, where it places is the white hex. I see. And then what this means is if a ship is at the end of movement of this turn, I see. If there is a ship in this hex or the next three hexes, second, third, then fourth. it will attack. Wow. Them. That's a whole, that's a, that's a it's, crazy parameter. It's there. this, these, these four. Oh, only, Not anything only forward. Oh. Only these four. So this is the line of attack. That's like, the line of attack. Four. Yep. Oh. And so then it's all just, right on the thing. I'm There's no drawing a line of sight. For visuals for yeah, people. yeah. So it's the, the the next four. One, two. So it's one, two, three, four, or Correct. one, two, three, four. No, no. One, two, three, four. Oh man. I'm just gonna do this just for for visuals because I think this is fascinating. Okay. And so now if it enters any of those any of those then what i'm going to do is i would grab my dice and i would roll now we'll get into rolling yeah, once yeah. we get into combat but it would have a chance to attack now if there's nothing there it's a dud it just goes off i take it, it just away sails away and dies. okay so now bryn has to decide do i really want to do that in fact i have three torpedoes i've got two in the front and i've got one on the side right i'm not making that up yes just trying to remember my ship so then i'm going to place one two and this goes out, out to here. And yep. I'm going to double down on, no, cause he can go one, two, there. I'm just gonna light, so you're, lay that line down. And so now you are cutting off this direction and you know that he has to move three before he can turn. So he's gonna go one, two, three. He's gonna hit at least Now all three he of can them. choose not to move. Oh, he can just full station? He can just full stop right there. Wow. But ultimately that's good for me because that keeps his big guns out of the, out of it. Now, the Germans have the best armor, so in all likelihood, Bryn's gonna be like, I can take this, and he's just gonna yeah, move it into it. He'll literally torpedo yeah. through okay. it. Okay, so now that the yes. torpedo, yes. <laughs> so now that the torpedoes are done moving, uh, or sorry, being deployed, now we go into the standard movement, because he doesn't have any torpedoes. Except you don't, because you're the Italians. <laughs> 
Right. It, it's actually been a while since I played my Italians. I designed these. I love them to death. I will always play Italians. Italians have improved steering gear. And improved, similar to he mentioned a regular steering gear that allows you to cut down on the uh, inner hexes before turn. Right. The improved steering gear actually does several cool things. And the first most important one, which is what he's referring to, it actually takes my type four and makes me a type 3.5. So in reality, oh. he now has to move first and then Before my battleship. The Even though I have to move first for this guy, he has to move his. How do you feel about that? Oh, it's always annoying. <laughs> it's always annoying. I suppose I'll move my ship. I need to move these guys out of the way. There you go. Um. So you can choose not to move at all, or you can just eat up to three torpedoes. Yeah. Yep. Oh, one, one torpedo, two, two torpedoes. But he's going to turn. You can turn on three. I can turn because I have my because steering Because he has gear. the yes. in, in steering gear. Two. So you're only going to eat one. One, one torpedo. torpedo because currently. even though you went into this hex, because you turned at the same time, you don't actually get that. Well, yes, and it's all movement end. is done, and then these that's, go off. That makes sense. That's yeah. Right. Yep. Now it's nice and simple. And I was pretty sure that's what he was gonna do, which is why I thought about putting it over here. But yeah, yeah and that that's that's one of the things I love about the torpedoes is you're always guessing. Like, how can sure. you outguess the other player? I like it. Okay, so now it's his turn to move. And now one of the really crazy things that I can do with him. So you are He's one, in range too. So one, two, one. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. You're fourteen, right? I am 14, yes. 14. And he, as long as okay. it hits the top hex, it gets Yeah, you as right. long as he's there, he's got so it. So he's clipping your okay, nose. Okay, so he's going to get me no matter what, I think. Um, but I will at least uh, go run for some... Uh, I'm not... Yeah, I don't think it's time to show the other parts of now, the improved though, steering gear yet. there's clouds here, One, you two, can technically three, hide out there, right? Because there's a cloud between you. Four. In fact, I was here, so I'm going to go one... And then side slip. Um, so there's different improved maneuvers. steering gear allows you to side slip. So normally it would be, you know, one, two, three, four, would require a lot to so get into the other lane. So I'm just strafing for two points. So I was right here. So I'm going one and then two, three, four, five. Now he can do even more with the improved steering gear, but I'll hold that for another turn. Because when steering I need gear it. can also do that. Improved steering gear is just better at it. Correct. Yep. That is. Thank you for that clarification. Yeah, so the clouds are actually, what they do is they don't have any modifier impact. All it means is that every gun has two ranges, a short range and a long range. So for this guy's first gun, he has six hexes for his short range and 12 for his long. Clouds, if a shot has to pass through a cloud, the shot must be fired at short range. And this is uh, one of the only times when your lasered line of sight would come out. Yep. Oh, I see. Because then you would see, is the shot going through the cloud? Right. And if it is, then it has to be in short range and or you can't do it. Technically, these templates are just for show right now. They will go all the way out. Absolutely. So, yeah, so yep. technically, all of this ring yep. is considered cloud. So right Correct. now, this guy has exactly no shot on this guy. Because it just removes the long range off well the gun. Well done. Yep. I think uh, Bryn's shaving his head later. <laughs> I don't know if I agreed to that. I, don't I think, think that I remember. I you mean, remember. I, can, I, can, I can edit on it. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think Emily would be just fine with I'll just cut it. Emily off. would be <laughs> so fascinated. I'm just, I'm just going to cut a bunch of sentences together and be like, I actually agree oh, yeah. that I will shave my head. It's a little Emily too bad. Songs. Well, I was thinking of the sneakers, the old movie where they... Yes. Do that cut. Too bad, Emily. Oh, yeah, my passport. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Brandenburg. He is actually, I have a slip shaft, which is just a worse version of a steering gear. So I don't reduce this number, but I can still do the slipping. It also sounds a little weird. I think about a slip shaft. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Also, he's just literally skirting the back yep. of those yep. torpedoes. Yeah, they're yep. literally bobbing yeah, yeah, as he's yeah. kind of sliding in beside Oh, them. no, I mean, I'm cheating too. Why? Because it's your turn now. Because <laughs> uh, we did the whole backwards. Did oh, we did do the backwards. Yeah, it always throws it off. Uh, yeah, and my other ships do not have... Oh, that's right, because that's just the Italians. Yep. 
Uh, again, the Italians generally are lighter. Their SI is lighter. That's what balances out that really cool ability. Yeah, but when I have all my ships then, no matter how the other person wins, I'm always moving second, which is fantastic. Uh, so we've got an eight here. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. God, it's get really six. Get really stuck really quick. It can be I really think. like. Oh, yeah. You're yeah. Stuck. Okay. And then this guy will go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, I think you're, you're going to be able to get shot. You have to go nine, ten. Does he move, does he move eight? He moves eight. I think I will try that and that and see if I was able to do it. That I don't think getting, so. That guy's getting hit. Yeah, he's, he's but that's okay. There. That's okay. <laughs> and All okay right. With them. And now we move back to my new spot up here, and it is your destroyer. Okay. And I will one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right into the clouds. Right. I'm eight. Yeah. Man, I, I can see people clouds. getting really addicted to this game. Like, um, I'm, I'm really well, the interesting thing is this opens up the uh, opportunity for us to attack each other because we're in adjacent hexes. Mm, airplane well, that's the other destroyer. Reason. Airplane <laughs> destroyer. But the airplane will be moving. <laughs> He'll be like, shoot. <laughs> okay. All right. We got a big one. Um, my guy here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and try to swing back into the group. And my wolf. You just want to park him right here, right? Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> he's a, uh, he's a one, tank. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the tank. Oh, so you're taking- And you've got the movement points for the- Oh, of course you do. So you just- <laughs> So he, uh, so you spend the three movement points Oh, I'm not screen. screening. Oh, you're not screening. No, you can't shoot, we can't shoot each other. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yeah. That's but totally the, right. So the question I have then is the fact that you moved on to the, the torpedoes. The torpedo will go at the wolf. The torpedo's yes. coming at the wolf now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sneaky little now, wolf. Now, he had enough movement that if this cloud wasn't in the way, he could have okay, blocked it. He could then have spent three movement points to defensive screen, which means all of my shots coming in, if I wanted to go with the battleship, would be coming in at the That's destroyer. Crazy. Okay, now, so to be clear, in reverse of that, just so we're on the same page, he couldn't shoot the other guys as well. That's right. Yeah. Because it would all be blocking that line of sight. I, so I mean, you me, could. Maybe you don't I like mean, that ship captain anymore. You can shoot anymore. yourself. Oh, yeah. Yes. You can shoot yourself. That's all right. I mean, no. why not? The wolf is invincible, so it doesn't matter. Wait, you <laughs> just, is it actually that hard to kill? It, it is very, it has one gun and then a lot of armor. It's it is hard not impossible to kill. to kill, but it takes effort. Yeah. All right. It's well, the flying brick. We got some planes to move. Yes. Uh, move your veteran fighter. But I don't want it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I want it more. <laughs> so then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Seven, because I can do the double turn because yeah. the point five. Kind of setting myself up for next turn. Right. When I can hopefully fly at his bomber and take him out. Yep. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, the bomber's going in up against the destroyer. Yep. yep. I guess bomber versus destroyer. I mean, if you've watched um, Star Wars, you see how that <laughs> works, right? And then they know, they know they had you have space. a much better fighter than me. Yep. But I, yeah, no, he'll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he'll come chill with his bomber while not being shot at. All right. So that is all movement again. Now we go and deal with those torpedoes. We can very clearly see that torpedo one and two here, just nothing. Before we go to that, I just want to go back. You did an interesting thing with that plane. Uh-huh. And which, unfortunately, I don't think you saw. You actually did a loop. Oops. You actually did a loop. How come you didn't just go one, two, over here, three, four, and then turn around again? You did a loop. Because he still has the inertia rules of the planes. I love it's just it. a lot faster. I just I think that's cool. I just yep. thought it was really neat that you did the loop. Yep. Yep, he's okay, still gonna now, do a little so bit. So this movement. torpedo goes yep. sealing. And it goes away. This torpedo goes that one goes away. And the next one the now, side. okay. Here you go. And my my slot, my my torpedo slot is gonna show me. So I'm gonna go first real quick, actually. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna try to blow it up before it matters. Oh, you're a stupid chaff. You can do yep. that? I can. I have a chaff on it. Mm, so it's just firing out, trying to shoot it down. 
Um, it's going to be a D black and a nine through 12 and it's gone. So do you actually call them D colored? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Wow. And it's easier that way. I missed. Okay. So now your your torpedo gets to go. So you had to roll. Well, how would you, how did you come up with that number? That is it's the standard rule in all oh, chaff yeah. shots. A uh, nine through twelve. Oh, so this is just like your okay. Cool. It's just a so standard. So like in snapships, it's like that weird. It was exactly. That, it was that straight up. Like, yep. Yep. To blow myself. But it you. failed. Okay. And so now I would look at my slot and know that I'm grabbing 3D red, which is an incredibly good shot. And then I'm also adding the slot die, which I will, Brent will explain that in a minute. Okay. So then I'm getting, uh, that was pretty terrible was roll actually. Say. So 12 on the two. Yeah. So I've got six slots you can see on the side here. Uh huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all numbered. Mm -hmm. So this guy tells me which one of these this shot just came at. So this came at slot number two. And oh, I see it's slot two because quite literally on the board, that side is, is exposed. Correct. Yes, so that's that is the, the side I came side. in There's on no that way firing arc. On this side. Correct. Yep. Side, oh, I love that. Instead of it just being a random spot on yep. the yep. Yep. So he rolled Facing a 12. Matters. At face value, that 11 actually loses to that 12, but I have slots that say plus two. I have two different ones, so it's actually plus four to all of these. So this is a 15. Oh my God. 15 beats 12. The Clank. slot is not destroyed. So the torpedo just quite literally went. Yeah. Yep. And it was a dud or it missed or whatever. You know, however you want to. Yeah, frame just to it. be clear, that was it was not just the wolf. That was in a below average roll. For yeah, that. that was a terrible roll. There was too much. On Pusheto, average, you should have yes. gotten it in the propeller. Yeah. yeah, that average roll is about like a sixteen or seventeen. Right. Yeah, and that would hit. That was just this. And anyone who's well. watched me play, except when I beat Bren, because apparently the universe wanted him shaved. It did. I rolled terribly as, all as my just games. Seen. Yes. So okay. no one's surprised at that. So you, so the torpedoes are gone now and all the movements for the second round is done. The torpedoes are gone. Now we're in the firing phase. Now we're in the firing phase. So you fire in reverse order and the same. So um, firing is all simultaneous. Uh, for anyone that's played Battletech, it operates in the exact same system. I see. So it actually doesn't matter who shoots first. If he shoots first and blows up my gun, my gun's still useful to me when I shoot him. Yeah, okay. so you can go back and forth. So it doesn't gonna, matter. You're just going to do it for fun. So usually you just kind of alternate. I will fire this turn, next turn yeah, he'll start but, it, I mean, and so on. But it's you want to switch it back and forth. It doesn't yeah. matter. The only thing that does matter is declaring before. Yeah. Because if this ship blows up this guy, and this guy said he was shooting at him, he doesn't get to do anything because he already said he was shooting that. Oh, because you're declaring so all of your fights. It's all simultaneous. Yep. So right? the declaration phase is it? Is it part of the shooting? It's just phase? part of the shooting phase. You just do. You generally you just say. All of my ships, and which is only going to happen, I am shooting this destroyer. And you can see it in the cloud. I can for some of these shots, yes. Interesting. So everything's good. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. That's cool. So now are you all declaring? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I'm going to stick with that. I'm shooting his destroyer, so it's up to what he wants to do here. Nope. And that's that going to right along, along there. there. Destroyed. Um, yes. So I have no other shots, but... Your destroyer. The destroyer. Or you even got the bomber to deal with, this little plane. Well, and even the destroyer, I don't think I have any shots off of him. Four, one, two, three, four. Nope. Okay. So, because the destroyer is a four and eight, but this is a cloud. You have a six gun right oh, there. Oh, thank you. Are you in the cloud here or are you I in am. the cloud here? Uh. Then this bomber can't hit you. It's, no, I was. Yeah, we were. Right you were it was there. I yeah. were adjacent. Now I see why the hex grid on the on the temple. Yep. Really cool. No, I yeah. think a double sided. Oh, no, no, I love I love the double sided. Um. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. Um, and so I have one gun that can fire. Um, so yeah, this uh, this might not have been From a good- From your entire uh, fleet? Yeah, because all of these guys are blocked by, well, he is too far away and all of these guys are blocked by- and you're just gonna pepper that destroyer off the board. Yep. That's, that's the Yeah, so that's the he goal. had a good thing there, um, but this guy is just like, one hex too far yeah, forward. Far too zealous. I, I, yeah, I, I did. ship that Lawrence flying. I did. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, we'll just went, I got Capellan, a little. The Capellan cruiser. I, I got a little too <laughs> exuberant and I'm probably going to pay for it. Okay, so then we have the Grenadier here. The Capellan okay. go crash. Uh, I'm firing my 138 millimeter. Okay, yep. it's within six hexes. So then I'm going to grab D yellow. I then look in this same location for the crew, which is a D green. I then I'm going to ask. And my, actually, sorry, just to be clear, you're still using the longer range one. I didn't say that before. That was no, you bad. did not say that before. Yeah, you're still using the longer range. Got it. It rotates it in. You Got it. Still a black. I did still a black. I was totally cheating. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So then I'm going to ask him 
and I'm still going to be trying to strike into his, uh, two, three, four, five, six. No, nope, I can't get to your battleship. Nope. It's got to go into the. So you're going yep. into this. So thing? I'm going into this guy because I hate the wolf. I don't even want to try at the wolf. Right. So okay. looking at the arcs here, um, this is my side arc. All the arcs are actually just on the back of the ships. Uh, I see that. Oh, let's see that again. Yeah, that's fantastic. Look at that. Right there. Yeah. yeah so, so that I, has I the see. arcs. That has as well. Forward 45s, straight bow, straight stern. Yep. We also oh. have special rules like the slip shaft because it's a little unique. Yeah. The rules for it are down there. All easy reference. I love it. Yep. Okay. Anybody into nautical things is going to love this. <laughs> so then coming in on that side, he yep. has two ribbons, a green ribbon and a black and a red ribbon that the dice icon are on. It's red if he only stayed or if he turned in place, which we might get to later in the game. Uh, but he did move, so it's going to be the icon on the green, okay. which I believe should be a D block, right? It is a black. Okay. And then you always add the slot die. And so right. I literally get one of these shots. And this is just, you want nice and high. Nice and high. It's always high. Except for when you roll snake eyes. Okay. So Eight, 10 one, one. on the six, because you're adding it all together. That is a 12. Yeah. So once again, my rolling. <laughs> should have bet the balding, man. Uh, I should have. You should have bet yeah, the balding. It's all good. All right. And that's it. That's all I got, unfortunately. Yeah, this is exciting. This is no, exciting. Oh, um, should I fire the anti? Oh, you always fire, fire the this guy? Okay. Uh, am I looking at the right guy? I'm not looking at the right guy. Uh, so a D green. Yeah. Okay. So he's adjacent. Um, again, it's a small World War I plane <laughs> versus all of my firepower. So I'm not rolling to hit. I'm simply rolling to damage. Oh, if I he's see. come this close to me to try to damage me, I'm just spraying out machine guns yeah, and small that, caliber. That makes perfect sense. And I am simply doing <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I, I, what, one. Just, just for the record. <laughs> just for the record. That's like wow. the third one in a row <laughs> yep. you've rolled. So I want to get a t-shirt that has four D20 icons and then four ones. Four because ones. I have never met anyone that has done what I've done, which is playing in my son's D&D game. I'm going to open a door and it has this little magical claw I'm like, no big deal, right? <laughs> okay, and I roll a one and it hits me. I then proceeded to roll three more ones. I rolled four ones in a row, took 40 points of damage, almost knocked me out. The whole table's laughing as well as wanting to leave because I'm breaking math. So the bombers actually can go back. This says 3D black, it's actually 3D red. So you've had That's only one wrong. damage on a bomber who has two tiers and five hit points. <sighs> yep. Yeah. You did nothing. I, I did so nothing. Come in right I at scrapped the front. The, I believe I scraped his logo off. Coming at the front of the destroyer there, the grenadier we're at. But I don't want it. Yeah, that's too bad. Um, that, was, that was okay. 12 on the three. So then three is a nine. Uh, it'd be a 10 for the breach, but he handily does that. And so he wipes out my 75 millimeter. Perfect. So now that you did that damage and you hit that number, you just take that thing off. Okay. Now the re so normally speaking, let's say Bryn had fired first. Yes. Okay. The reason I am then circling this is because I still get to use this gun, right? Okay, so. Okay. But because I already fired first, I know that, okay, well now I'm done and it's over. Right. But you're circling it and we'll get, at the end of the turn, we'll cross them off. You're and circling we'll get it to, to that. know that it's dying. It is dying. I still get to use right. it. And then at the end of this turn, any circle, and it, you could have five or six circles that you would then X out. So when you, when you do get to the point where you're scratching it off, how does a ship's integrity die? Because you're just taking the gun off and you did damage. Sure, to we'll get to that. Okay, we'll get to that. Uh, it'll be much easier to show it happen when it happens. Let's do it. Yep. yep. All right, so my big guy, one, like two, it might three, happen four, right now. five, six, <laughs> seven, which is exactly my short range. Dang it. Yep. I totally did that wrong. Yellow, one hex too green, far. Your front is a blue. Yeah. And then it is a saturation gun. It's got a square. Oh. So it gets two dice. So a saturation gun is so big, it can potentially destroy two slots in one go. I also have a yeah. turret on the side that does the same thing. So I have two of these. I think you're uh, Because here. yes, I'm just yep. off. Man, I did that terribly. Ooh, we didn't roll too well. No. 11 on the six and six. So here's a fun thing. So let's first, we go for the first six. You treat this as two different things. So nine and 10 with the armor, but he had the 11, so dead. So now I deal with the second shot. The second shot is already a destroyed spot. 
Now we are going to re-roll this. Oh, it's bouncing around inside. Yep. And I'm going to see what happens next. See what it takes out next. Now, they can, if it rolls a six again, what happens? So now we well, get to do that, what you just wanted. So, well, before we get that, let's say it had sure. rolled a four. Yes. Right? Okay. So then I would compare what he rolled to this new number without armor because it's already back behind the I armor. See, I okay. See. So if it had hit here, it would kill it. If I had, say, like a 13 here mm -hmm. and it went here, nothing happened. It banged around and didn't find anything. But the really fun part happened. So he rolled a, he six, rolled a six, which is coming into a second spot that's already been destroyed. So now we're going to try to kill a ship. Just straight up? We're going to try to kill a ship. So is, we, that, is that because you rolled the six again? It's because I because re rolled he, into a destroyed slot again. It's like the bolt like has driven into hardcore. the middle of Correct. the ship. Uh, I see. We're going to try to break going the kill. Deep. We're going to break the this ship in half. This is the equivalent of like a headshot. Absolutely. That's what we're going for here. I see. So we are going to start a running tally. That tally is going to be How many sixes you roll compared to <laughs> the guns he rolls? Well, then That'd I just lost. <laughs> um, no. So we have these slots here, and I'm going to add two to my tally that I'll deal with in a sec for every slot destroyed in the area that I'm shooting into. So two, four. Yeah. If there were slots destroyed elsewhere, they would add one. So if this guy was destroyed, it'd be two, four, five. I see. It's just two, four. I add one because there's a miss slot, so I'm at five. Yeah. I am now going to add that five to rolling 2D red, these two tens. Uh -huh. And if those two numbers together equal or exceed the structural integrity, the ship is dead. Uh, that's pretty good odds. Yes, it is very good odds. Seven. Seven plus five. It does not do it. Okay. Unfortunately, However, instead, yep. It will knock it down by one. Even though he failed to do a full break in the he kill did. roll, he, broke he still break. hurt the inside of the ship and this lumber came down. I, I don't want to be the crew on that ship right now. No, no, no. <laughs> Gullies, I'm, uh, right. I, I'm very and, nervous. And now the second one. Yeah. And now he has another gun yelling. that's the exact same thing. Oh. It did not. Oh, it is like oh he totally now. missed. Yeah, the clouds, that's okay. one, clouds two got in the way. Four. One, two, and a four. Nice. And that is just fine. <laughs> that's all right. You're still in good shape. So, yeah, so far, I'm, I'm exchanging nothing. I'm exchanging the one veteran diamond. You are very... So, man, you're just very rubbing that in. Right now. Yeah. Yep. He's just rubbing I'm that glad in. glad that Brennan agreed to shave his head. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> this keeps changing. This keeps modifying. All I heard was that he agreed to shave I, his that's head. That's what I There's heard. There's no term. I know. That's what I'll, shave my, I'll shave my I'm head. I'm just going to do it. Tomorrow. Or Leviathan. Tomorrow night <laughs> at 9 o'clock or 8.59, the last minute of the Kickstarter. All right. Let's be oh, clear. I think we both do it for Leviathans. Oh, but, for sure. You know. 12 on the 5. <laughs> 12 on the five, so 10, 11, still got it. Dang okay, it. so that was my first gun. These guys are my turrets at the front. <sighs> one hex, Second one, one hex, people. 12 on the one, the one is a miss. And it is, because it is a single shot, yeah. it, it just, just goes right by. It just represents the profile on the ship, just All right. extra thing. One last gun on the side. <laughs> well, now. And another uh, one. Yes. <laughs> All right. My final shot is going to be actually from my wolf because he has a gun that can do that. Mm -hmm. And it is going to be this. Again, my gun, my, oh no, the crew and his front. There we go. All right. Ooh, a 11. 11 on the two. That's just, oh, it's got armor. Uh, just under. 11, 12, oh, just missed. wow. Almost killed him, but I'll take the damage. Dice, you guys are yes. No, I totally lucked out. I that, thought I was going to lose This ship should have been tossed. Yeah, yeah. Yep. No, I did a terrible move on so my part. So you fired back already. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, you already did the bomber. I did the bomber. Okay. Yep. You did this guy. So... You did this guy. You did this guy. Yep. So we are all done. Guy. He is out of range. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. So then it's the end of the round. Okay. okay. And there are no already crossed off spots. Okay. Right. One of the things that we have not gotten to that we will get to on the next turn is because this is a large crew on the ship, mm -hmm. you can potentially set them to trying to repair various slots during the game. But in this instance, we don't have any, they, you can only repair a slot that was destroyed on a previous turn because so the you crew- you repair the slots? Uh, on future turns, but right now, cross, cross, cross. And now I am down a crew and two guns, which has really hurt my grenadier. And now it is turn three, back over to Bryn to start moving first. Yep. So technically, if this was turn six, let's say you were whiffing, and this is turn six, 
is this how you would calculate your points on turn six? Like, so for example, you got some damage done to you, have nothing done to you, but that, is, is that how your points get calculated? There will be rules to do that exactly. Um, it literally has never happened in all the time I've played, uh, but there will be rules where damage, total damage will decide the difference if ships have not been destroyed. Okay. Yep. So I'm asking crazy outlier questions. No, you are, but that's, and that's, it's, that's just fine. Yep. The fans want to know, so we're that's what we're here for. Sorry, can we, uh, first, this is like. Not too bad. Okay. Want to stretch yours? No, it's actually pretty good right now. Make sure it's a little closer to you. Is that better? Well, yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. 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 So now start at turn three. Yeah. Uh, so now we begin turn three. Torpedoes. Torpedoes. So only you're getting torpedoes. The Germans have, have almost it. no torpedoes. They're the one of the German destroyers that was unlocked will actually come with some torpedoes, but in general, torpedoes are not for the German Navy. So you're counting out the torpedoes and you're placing them where you believe the movement's going to end up. Yep. What? All three torpedoes on the same lane? Yep, I'm taking a gamble because he can only come either straight forward or turn once. So no matter what happens, I believe, I'm going to be able to get all three on him. Interesting. Hmm. And now you now he's yeah, and he is in a bad spot because oh no, you can't move over. That's yep. right. Yep. Sorry for a moment. Old uh, yep. original addition uh, was getting in my head. So what are you doing? What am I doing? I that do. I do notice question. like to have multiple dish as as a designer. You, but when I decide when I uh, describe games to people, it's I always tell people like I'm not the person for this. We need Dylan because he, <laughs> he seems to know how to how to remember the additions of these no, games. No, addition creep is so real. Because for me, oh, like I'll, I'll start making, I'll, I'll start saying something, and then I'll hear Dylan go, "Nope, that was like four additions ago." I'm like, <laughs> God, I'm usually pretty good every once in a while right. in battle tech because there's be so many of them here, and I am just going to turn in place. We'll have a marker to show it, but for now, I'm just going to put down That's a That's smart, because then the this, that means the torpedo is Torpedo stop right there. However, I'm going to be easier to shoot at this turn. I see. Because your flank is open. Because I didn't move. Oh. Okay. Yeah, even That's though he very similar turned to in thing. place, yeah. yeah, it's still effectively not moving. And so that was a good move, though. Yeah, I like this. Yep. That was very good. Yeah, but brave, because, you know. Now, you couldn't have placed the torpedo on this hex, could you? I could have, absolutely. That would have been great. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I absolutely want to get out. Yeah, in the final right edition, these will be a little smaller, and these will be better see-through. Yeah. So you can actually just clock They're those pretty right see under. It's pretty yeah. cool. It's yeah, but they'll be able to go right under here smoothly. Right. Yep. Okay. The Italian ship's so moved. Back yep. over to you. So now my cruiser. It's fascinating to see just how much of the of the, this map is being used in this. In this oh story. yeah, no, we will use. Yeah. This isn't a classic like get almost in. Almost every nope, bit of it. you got to maneuver. Got to maneuver. Three. Well, and you have to deal with the inertia that is inherent in the movement of the ships. Yeah, no, I love it. And I so it's this constant this overlapping super, circles. Super cool. Okay, so then one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do seven. Right on top of those two uh, planes. Go ahead and free them for a sec. <laughs> okay, nice. and then uh, one, and I got steering gear, so I can immediately turn two, three, four, five, six, seven, ugh, eight. Yeah, you wanna get some shots, right? Yeah, and my bow then guns yeah. this is going to be we'll be able to go over there water this round that, that we are, a lot of we are in the big round a lot of firepower round three it seems is like, almost okay. this the is like the empire strikes back of rounds <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no round three is always an incredibly important go yeah so you got this little guy to move right yep and then you got your very he's lucky got destroyer. he's got two of them and then my lucky destroyer one two three 
four, five, six, seven. Huh. He's gonna come, he's gonna come tango. You guys are gonna literally just like, it's just like a... That's the idea. Wow, that's cool. And which one is this guy? Is this the Breton or the Jean d'Arc? Jean d'Arc, remember, okay. getting a little tax. Oh, right. The thing I, you created. I know. Anyways, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we, did, we actually didn't have these in the previous edition, and it's amazing just that little bit of data and that helps. I'm going to play. spend using my. I So I'm on a defensive screen, Ooh. meaning that these shots can't go to him and will have to go to the wolf. It costs three points to do that normally, and I would not have had enough. However, the wolf has a screening crew, so it only costs him one. Because nice. this is his job. So you literally it's just- his put, whole job. So you put this defensive screening token down to say that you're defensive screening. Yep. Yep. And so the, he now can only shoot him. Okay. So now it's a little planes. Uh, no, nope, destroyer, my destroyer. Oh, yeah. Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Can you go into your own torpedo? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I have many times. Yep. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance here. Yeah, no one's gonna shoot that thing anymore. <laughs> it's invincible. No, it's like the I lost all that, and I've only got the. You've only got a gun in your. So rear. what are you debating oh. right now? Well, I was gonna run up to try to get into the stern because, uh, as in any naval combat game or any fleet game, it's all about crossing the T. You're trying to get your broadside into the bow, or even better, your broadside into the stern. So I could have run him forward tucked him in right there. Yeah. That would have allowed my bow guns into his stern, but I have no bow guns. Because <laughs> they all got blown away. Because they all got Did blown you away. Do any guns left on that? Uh, well, yes. So gun. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. Well, you just Just like for that. It's just And he's for totally going to hit me hard, but I have one gun to go in the rear of the wolf. Because if I can hit one of the good engine slots on the wolf, that could make all the difference in the game. So just risking it for the best. Just risking it. That's right. It. Okay. All okay. right. Fighters. So fighters. My turn to go. I go first. And I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. You are in trouble. Going that little fighter's stern. coming right up the And that's stern. the bomber, right? That's the bomber. Okay. And my fighter is going to come up right there. And I will come up right there. So so you're going to take on the, the, um, the bomber. I'm going, He's going, be, I'm going to be trying at the bomber. Or sorry, yeah. Where's so I right? have my fighter has the escort ability, yep. which means that he cannot shoot at him. Any shot directed to him must That's go to my fighter. That's what it is. Yeah. So you're going to take that. So I'm, I know that I'm going to hopefully take his fighter on because I have a better fighter. So and then, then, and then, you and can then take hopefully the next turn, I can take on the bomber. Okay. Yep. Uh, movement complete. Movement complete. Time and to shoot. Torpedoes, they are all gone. Now, and to be clear, it was not that the torpedoes were just a waste. He forced me to either take them or put myself in a spot where he's going to have all of his shots better. Yep. So they still did something very important. Oh, I, I, I saw hit. I saw that place. Yeah. And he stacked it up to make sure, because if it was just one torpedo, you'd probably say, eh, who cares? Yep. yep. But because there were more than one torpedo, that was definitely like a way to say, I really don't want you here. Yep. That's smart. Okay. Now we shoot. So bring it. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and just start off nice and fun with my wolf, who's going to go ahead and duel the much larger and more armored ship. Four hexes away. You know, the uh, Jean yep. d'Arc. And it is hitting the top. Now, does it hit the front or the side? The It is right along this line. So, so it's it going to be in the side. Okay. This is the front. This I is see. the front. This is the side. Yep. All right. So I have a... Short range of six, so I get the bigger die. I get the crew. I'm gonna get his side, which I know is a black, because he moved. And this is my shot from the wolf. And eight, nine, ten. Ten in the five. That's not nope. gonna do it. No. Nope. 15, 16, not uh, even close. That's okay. okay. One shot from the wolf is. Yeah. Teen. Yep. That's okay. His job isn't to do damage. No. Um. So now, I'm sorry. That was my bad. Declaring fire. Um, he was shooting there. He is going to shoot this little guy. Yep. His his short range guns are all going to shoot here. Both of these guys, his long range guns and this guy, are shooting here. Oh, that guy's toast. 
Um, and the CeeLo has one gun on his port side that will also shoot here. And um, nothing is shooting this thing. Nothing is shooting the battleship. What about your bomber? Your bomber's shooting in the backside. Bomber's shooting the backside, yep. Yeah. And the little fighters shooting the fighters. Fighters are shooting each other. So, dog so my destroyer and cruiser here will be firing on the battleship. He will be firing, he only has the tail guns now. So he's taking, he's so he'll be firing into the tail of the wolf. Yeah. Oh, the wolf. Uh, and then his shots, any shots have that he to have, has to go at the wolf because he can't get through the, oh, you know what? One, two, three, four, five. Want to take the fighter And out? that is my Jean de Arc. Well, no, sh- his. That is. Oh, that's me. That's you right there? No. I mean, no, yeah, yeah, shoot that's it. a good shot. Shoot it. <sighs> Anyways. Oh my God. Wow. You were going to shoot your own ship. For just a sec, just a sec. The clouds, it looked, clouds. you know. Sun was in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my God. Um, <laughs> so Brandenburg is going to fire into the side. Um, your side is yellow. My short this range is gun. shot here, right? Yep. Yellow and then the green. On crew. my grenadier. Yep. So All coming right. in on my port. Yellow's on the best dice. Uh, black is actually the best die. Okay. So yellow's on the next best. Uh, that is red, actually. Okay. So yellow's on the next best. That is, that is correct. Let me, that is correct. Okay. Eventually, really we were going to get there. there. No, no, no. I know. I'm just. I, can, I mean, we can leave this up. It's all good. All right. The next, next, I'm next best. <laughs> Well, It'd be funny if it just kept going down to the fact that yellow was the worst die. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, nope. Oh my not God. even. That Hold was on. a four. That was, that was two a and four. Two ones. Yep. Man, All four. right, second shot. Just takes the head shape. Here we go. And that is your miss slot. 14. Yes. All right. All right. We rolled a one, on so it's a miss. <laughs> Doesn't matter what it is. It's always going to miss. <laughs> wow. Six, that was seven total. Horrible. So that was not good. That's because the universe wants you balls. So I, this guy, that's not, a, it's not an you, option. Because you so agreed to it. That wasn't an option. This little destroyer that you literally spent two turns with you, practically your entire fleet to try and destroy. You just cannot destroy this little ship. I, I have more shots. <laughs> I have more shots. The bomber coming in. Yeah. Um, Ooh, it gets a lot of reds. Payload. Until you get. Oh, that'll do it. Yep, that'll do it. Okay. And again, the, I know the bomber is not perfectly balanced here, but that is... Well, you're shooting up the rear side here. Yeah. All right, so there's a slot done. So he is done. Um, I'll quickly deal with the fighter. I've got a yellow against your fighter. Ooh. Ooh. That seven. was rough. A seven. Woo. So is that springs down to three. Yep. Up. So, so if he rolled up. a ten, he would have shot your fighter right out of the sky. Instantly out of the sky. That was Though with the D yellow, he couldn't do it. Impossible. Oh, I see. I see. Yep. Because eight was the oh, max. Oh, that's right. I'm here. I got yep. it, folks. I'm okay. So now, now I've got um, the silo, and he's gonna fire his one shot into your starboard side. A blue. If this ship lives green. this round, man, you yeah, better. I ram. don't even. I don't even. <laughs> that's nine. All right. That's not bad. That so is five, a nine. twelve on the four. Mm, nope. Nope. <laughs> one off. That armor saves you. Twelve. Oh no. Oh. Sorry, you said 12, right? Yeah, 12, 13, yep. Yep. All right, and now he's got his two shots going against the Breton. Okay, so the Breton's coming in the thing. The Breton, yeah. The, the, the Breton. Uh, black side oh. with those two dice, and the I got two of these. Falcon. Oof, dude. Uh, That's 12 still, 12 uh, on a one. Uh, probably, no. 12 on the one, 11. Only 12. slot that that was good for. Just nice. slid it in. So you got the armor off. Yep. Ooh. And 17. much better. 17 on the one causes reroll. Two. So, yep. There we go. Oh. Kills a big gun. Okay. And now to my big guy. So all of my little guns, which are just the two, mm-hmm. are going to go ahead and shoot into the front. I am going to go ahead and do a bracket shot. So is that? A bracket shot is where, so I've got these two guns that are the same size, and they both have these triangles. So instead of firing separately, they're going to fire together. Okay. Because there's one slot left, and I just want to try to get a, sl- a shot in. Two slots? What are you talking about? Oh, it's there are two. That's okay. I'm still going to go for it. I think it's the best answer for me. Um, so basically, bracketing fire, you are lessening the overall blue, damage blue, potential to increrease green. the hit potential. Okay. Oh, because so you're, he's, you're reducing he's the, taking the, yeah. two guns so that two could gun potentially slots do slots and moving it to one slot 
but then is going to combine the dice together as he's doing. Yep. I see. And importantly, this guy cannot miss. He cannot add a miss slot. So oh, if you nice. bracket fire, it automatically hits. So 14, 15. On the six. That'll do it. Reroll. One. One. And that. But that is a reroll because. So three. There it is. That'll destroy it. No, that sorry. Four. No, no, four. No, no, no. I totally did it wrong. I'm blowing you up. Woohoo. Yeah. So, doing the math from the top, two, four, six, seven, eight. He has a 17. 17. I get a nine. You can fail. I did not. No, that's it. So that ship is toast, but not yet, because he's still getting to do it. Correct. Still get to do it. Yep. Finally. It just took your entire fleet for two rounds. (laughs) Yep. All right. Um, The little destroyer that could. Quickly noting that you are actually adjacent to my... Uh, German destroyer here, your fighter. So I'm actually going to get an AA on you. Yep. Uh, AA is green. Oh, which means you could just kill me. And I did. Oh, so he beat the dead fighter dead as well. Well, he'll still get to fire, but he is dead as well. He also flew too close to the sun. He, he did. did. And we're we haven't done planes as much as some other things, so and he especially hasn't. So he's still figuring out how to use them. Interesting. Um, all right, and now the big guns into his side. Oh, I've got go three over of to them. The Breton. The Breton. I've got three big guns. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven X's, which is right in my short range again. Good timing. I've got three of these shots: one from my front turret, one from my back turret, and one from the side. So you're rolling three times. Yep. All right. The first roll is an 19, amazing 20. roll. God. Yeah. So the one and the two are already destroyed. So I reroll both of them. Six and a six and the four just gone. Six That's and four. two gone? That's two slots gone. Holy. Because the bracketing fire. Cow. Yep. Super big guns. And that's Eight. a straight whiff. Whiff. And last shot for me. Another whiff. Ah. Not so much. 14. 14 on the three and four. 14 Three on is the taken out. Three. The armor is a plus one, so that is and gone. And I rolled a four. A four. And I rolled a 14, so you need me to roll that five. Yeah, desperately. Yes. <laughs> so he rolls a five. Woo. So what happens if he had destroyed this slot? Yeah. It would still be a break in the kill roll, but it would be an automatic break in the kill roll. I because mean, it destroyed it just slot. happens. So in that instance, it'd be two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. You don't need to roll a ten. I see. So in this case, but, but in this case, I one slot that was saved by to, one, yeah. his ship will live one more turn. But Tom Falcon is hanging on. That's right. Okay, and you're all done. That is it for me. Okay. So then we will do the anti-aircraft fire against. Uh, we'll start with my grenadier against your bomber. Yep. The anti-aircraft fire. This is just straight damage. Yep. Four into the bottom. Excellent. Four, it drops down to one. So here's unfortunately a sad spot where your veteran fighter fires and hits, but it didn't hit that other tier from the other and thing. so there's... So the six health is going to go there. We can just do that. Yep. So what happens? So what ended up happening, because I did not break the first So he got this tier, down to one. So, did, okay. so you can, it doesn't matter how much damage you take in tier one, you're, you're, you're going As to... Like, once tier one is hit, it stops the damage there. And from the a next, single... From, from a, a single, single roll. Yeah. I see. So this didn't get through. So when he fires, it's simply going to hit the one, and no matter what I rolled, it doesn't uh, get through to the so other all side. You're doing is taking a exactly. Off. So we okay. needed we needed him to do more damage the first turn uh, to then remove it okay. so that he could hit but it. But in this case, got, well, no, it's all good. It's not over yet. You still got the fire and stuff. That uh, was the. The oh, fighter. I forgot the yeah, the, the, the fire is shooting. Yeah, the ship shoot. is first in the stern. You're yeah. right. You're right. Yep. I gotta help you here. Right? You do. Your head's gonna get shaved. <laughs> oh, Friends is getting shaved anyway. Uh, and then your deep blue yep. in the back. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Nice and high, right there. To the wolf. <laughs> Ooh, I no. don't think six on six is no. gonna work. No, not even a little. I think that's why I already knew that was coming. That's why I moved him off. It's been a good universe reversal from our first there, game. Oh this my gosh, brutal. yes. I completely agree um, with so that. So there's no way to mitigate the dice rolls. There's no re-rolls in this game. There's nothing yet. Uh, there will be some Admiral cards and things that do that, but no, there is Generally nothing Generally like speaking, that. there's not. That's kind of cool. All right, and then I am within adjacency of this guy. Yep, so I'll go ahead and fire his. Uh, it's a Breton, which is a D-Blue. So, <laughs> God. scratch and paint. 
All right. A one. Okay. Again. I've never seen a family roll so many ones. <laughs> Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So then I have two hundred and fifty-two millimeters and two two hundred and three millimeter guns coming at you. Um, and so we will start out with the first one. So that is a D yellow. So there's and actually something a, special here. And it's a saturation. The uh, battleships have two sides. Mm -hmm. So oh, a front he, half and a second half. Yes, because they're much bigger. So he needs to roll a die, um, a, one of the D6s, and on a one, two, three, he shoots the front, and on a four, five, six, he shoots the back. And, nice. and all shots go in there. It's yeah. not like you I do see. it for every gun. So, so all of them are section. coming in the four, four, four. you want, right? Um, it's about it the, actually, you wanted the back because it had the big gun, but. Yeah, so at this point, not exactly. So that is my gun. That is my crew. He has a red. It is that, and then because what I did is not yours? move, that simply represents that it is two blacks. Two, oh, 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 that's glorious, because he didn't move. Wow. Well, it was okay. a risk. So it was. Yep. It absolutely was and a we'll risk. See how it pays so out. I've got two of these coming. So first one. Uh, Ten. 18, Eighteen on the six and four. Um, that'll get the four. That will not get the six. Yeah, because the 18 is not. Because he has so much armor. I've got armor. And my second 203 millimeter. Oh, oh yeah, that'll 20, do whatever I want. On the yeah, one and the one two. One and two, just blow away. Nice, okay. So now I'm moving down to my 152 millimeter, which means I am taking the D yellow away and moving in a D blue. And then it's two more, and they don't have saturation fire. So, so then I have two, two more, more shots, shots like in this. In the same, in the front quadrant? Yep, all okay. in the same spot. So your roll is eight, nine, uh, 14, 17 on three, three, which is good. Um, so 17, so that actually I have two, because this armor's not destroyed, yeah. there's actually an 18 slot, so Oof, it just misses. Bummer. And the second one? 10, 16. That's gonna be... That same, yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, bummer. Wow. Had a good spot at that. And that is going to be all his guns because I don't have anything back there. Okay, so then moving over to the uh, the Breton. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, sorry, seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, seven. Same to... thing. And the now I half. did want the front half. Why? Because it's, because he's already been so much damage there. there. Oh, I so out. I that wanted to keep that wanted to keep hammering on it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I will first do a bracketing fire um, with these two guns because they're both on turrets, both 75 millimeters to get them in there. So then that those two for the guns, that's the crew, black for Bryn. Wow, and the bracket, so you do not roll two? Uh, no. Oh, I see. Oh, 14, 16, 22. On, on the four? On the four? No. Six. Yeah. Armor is Got taken out. Got the big gun out. Nice. Okay. And then I will be firing uh, these singly, and it is six exactly. And so that will be these two out, and it'll pull that in. And I've got two of these shots. Okay. This is this is crazy. <sighs> oh, so wow. eleven. Twenty-one. Uh, on yeah. Five. Twenty-one on the five. Yep. Okay. And the last shot. You're one taking slot left. everything out. Only one slot left. That's not the slot, so you gotta reroll. Um, two. That's not it either. Okay. So, so here's. Hard. So, 6, 11, 18, 19, 20 on two. Yeah. So, here, uh, and then you rerolled that, right? That yes, was, I already yeah. rerolled it. Yeah. So, he hits that slot. Yeah. The problem is that if he counts these all up, two, four, six, eight, ten, and then adds these two, and if they both rolled 10, his number would be 30. Okay. My number 36. Yeah. These are big ships. So, so as of now, it. the so break in the kill doesn't do Adam. So it just drops one. Yeah. I see, I see. So the math is simple. Yeah, he doesn't nice have, and he simple. He doesn't I, have enough punch to get in. But ship. I did creak it. You know, the whole ship rang you for a the, sec. You made the error. And he gets go. one point. Yep. Oh, yep. No, they, they heard something. There's a little shiza going on. They, yep, they, yeah. they heard something. Okay. So then the Jean d'Arc um, coming in on the wolf and your D black on the side, right? Um, on the wolf? Yeah. No. Or is a oh yellow. yeah, no, I'm a, um, yeah, I'm a black. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yep. Um, so got that. Got my gun. Got my crew, and a slot die. 
And I am, what am I missing? I am missing, no, I'm not missing anything. You want so, nice and high, right? Nice and high, always high. There it is. 16 on the five. Uh, yep. Okay. Bam. Just barely gets it. And then coming in on the side, one, t- because it's coming through the clouds, one, two, three, four, five. And they are only uh, fours. And so I can't shoot. Because, now why can't you shoot? So these guns, so the... Uh, the front gun came from this hex, so it was but any through. side guns mm-hmm. come from the middle hex. Going and if you cloud. draw that, yeah. oh no, I am totally lying because I was thinking about this ship because I can totally draw it. Yeah, you can. Uh, oh Because this no. is the line. No, no, no. Because no, yep. I draw through there. I see what you're saying. Then it cuts it to the short range, and my guns are four. So one, two, three, four. four. You're literally just out of range. Just out yep. of range because of the clouds. Okay, and uh, your fighter. That is his fighter already. Uh, the fighter dead. already fighter went. Is dead. So fighter's dead. So that was and serious that damage. That is everything, right? Yep. I don't okay. think you did so well. So there. although you did beat that that big. Yep. Guy so I'm gonna cross all these off. So cross I can't off. repair anything this turn. Wow, this gets lethal quick. It does. Yep. Well, not lethal, but it gets like really destructive. It's okay. Quick. So round four. And I started out torpedoes. This is going to be important. Oh, he has to turn something around here real quick. <laughs> Preferably your ships with torpedoes. Yes. So one torpedo is that way. I see. So you're placing them. You really want that big ship gone. Well, again, remember, because it's point based, killing the big ship means is, a lot, more than, means that, a lot yeah. more than my little guy. That's crazy you put it there. So he can maneuver around that just by, by pivoting. Yeah. But again, I'm, I'm looking to give a spread. Right. And if he just pivots, I will totally take it because look what I did with those 2D blacks. That's true. Yeah. No, that was brutal. Interesting placement mm. of those torpedoes. All right. So the big ship gets to go now. It yep. does. Because even though I should be moving first, improved steering gear, he's a 3.5 type. So he gets to, because it's better at steering, it gets to see. He and still gets to steer it and then reacts. So it's not always good to be able to move first. In fact, it's bad to move first. There we go. Hmm. This is, this is, I don't, I don't like that. Ah, it's just the torpedo. <laughs> what does it do? What's the damage on the torpedo? <laughs> Three red. One. Well, that's not bad. Two. He rolls the ones. Three is two of them. Two of them. It's not so bad. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> nice place. Yeah. The- yeah. I'm not in the great spot, but that's what we're gonna go for now. Okay. So now we're gonna show what one of the things you can do if you have improved uh, steering gear in each of the side locations on a battleship. Yep. Then, so normally if you, I was doing a side slip with my improved steering gear, yeah. I have to move forward one. I can then do the side slip. Yeah. I have to move forward one. Yeah. I can then do the side slip. Okay. So I've spent four slots on this guy to yeah. make him stupidly maneuverable. So and I can simply go one, two, three, four. Oh my God. And then Actually, I think I'm going to go with three. Uh, That's crazy. Three. That's four, five. Yeah. Hammer Town. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Wow. That's. Uh, no, the Italians get as close as possible to like, embracing being a fully yeah. like, wow. airship. Yeah. Yeah, they're super fun. And then it's still your turn because you actually did. You are, it is your initiative going first. So all of your ships are actually going right now. And the reason why is because I only have the two type twos left. Yep. I have no I type one. What happened to that type one? He's falling <laughs> down is, through uh, the sky. It's gone. painful and he's feeling bad about himself. <laughs> he's rethinking his uh, his pl- career, his down career to whatever choices. the ocean is right now. Yeah. Um, so he was then, over the water, so it's a little better than over the land. We'll do one, two, three. 
three. So then I'm staying right in yep. that front arc, so there's nothing you can do about yeah, it. Yeah, so the, the rolling front or back is actually only in this One. area. I see. This is uh, all the front. So he's, he wants you dead. Two. He's peppering the same spot. He's going to try to just break through That's that way fascinating. by force. So, so Four. by peppering that same spot, it's just... Yeah, so your hall and he's, now he's not destroying more slots is the problem. No, but, but he's getting but rid he's, of the slots so that he can go so straight He's to the heart. trying to finish it now. He's basically betting it all that he can try to get a good I'm roll just there. betting it all. All in. All right. My turn. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, that's that's just the, that's just a sandwich. Yep. Um, this is a, this is a this is a German sandwich and you're the schnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> we are actually going to be a little brave here because I don't want to leave this area and we'll see what he does about it because I think he's too busy to shoot at me. So he's also going to turn in place. Fascinating. Wow, he's wolf. trying to draw some firepower. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So here's one of those things where I got a little excited doing other stuff. So even though the wolf is perfectly built to stop what's happening, I let him get too far away from the battleship. Yep. And now he cannot do his one job. This guy can pepper him now. So too. now he's going to stay back to be ready yeah. for the next turn if he makes it. Yep. But I, I let myself get too excited trying to do other things. And if I lose my battleship, that's why. Can I just say, I love the intricate detail of these ships. <laughs> oh, the so models cool will They're super You know, beautiful. this is how the models are coming. It is pre-painted. It's this pre-assembled. Is it oh, you actually see, so this is, uh, you know, a full diorama version ship right here. Yeah, so this is more the version of what it will come out of the box uh, than this one and this one, or more almost uh, somebody who's a painter, uh, Jared Saunders, great friend of ours, um, who... Uh, takes it then and then paints it up to a whole other level. So it comes out beautifully out of the box, but if you're a hobbyist and a painter, yeah, really easy you can paint really easy to take it up to a whole other level. I, I want to show these things off, so just give me a second. Yeah, yeah. Of course, we, we love these ships. That's yeah, why I remember what this is. I'm going to put the dice down here to show where that went. Yep. Okay. I just want to show this. Thing. Look at these ships. Look at the size of this ship. It is literally like a submarine sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is, it is awesome. It is... Like really, and they, this is what it comes out. Yeah, so that, that that's how it's coming. So I'll get the painting. That one's a little fancier. Okay. Um, so this guy. I'm gonna put this back down here, and you can give me one of the ones that I'll take. That guy, you can take it off his base. Okay. That's so what this, they're coming as. Yeah. This is heavy. That like, one's a, he's a he's a different model type. It, okay. It's, yeah. But it'll be similar. Yes. Even still, like that's still a girthy amount of plastic. But look at this. Look how good this looks. That is a that's a full size model. Like. You're getting you're getting good bang for the buck. I like that. Okay. So then this torpedo misses. Okay. The other torpedoes come in though. Yep. Yep. Two D eight. Three D eight. Three D reds. Red. So it's three D three D ten. So thirty maximum. So I got two of these. Seventeen average. Seventeen. Seventeen on the two. Reroll. Three. There you go. Clean. So already so and this is actually something we forgot to mention because it hasn't come up yet. Uh, torpedoes are not part of the firing phase. Okay. They're part of the movement phase. So this gun is gone. So his... So, oh, so, this, so, so the next correct. phase when we're firing, that's gone. It's already gone. So correct. his ship position... So you, you wanted this. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay, All now... All right, so there's one. Uh, but that generates a break in the kill roll. Can I get there yet? Uh, you cannot. Okay. So then it automatically knocks it down. Yep. 34. That's the second torpedo was to knock it down. Oh, and that's another just gonna be another one. one down. So that'll just be another one down. She has 33. Yep. I see. So you're you're breaking the structural integrity to get it down so low down, enough, down, down, so that down, all of down. these ships can suddenly start uh, getting a chance okay. at a real break in the All table. right, sir. Your turn to shoot first. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna start with him going into the bow. So the, the real quick to explain. One, two, again, all fire is simultaneous. Fire yeah, yeah. But there are correct options for shooting first. So for instance, he wants to shoot this front first. Not because he expects to kill it up here, but he's going to pepper some slots so that when he does the damage over here, these are added to that math. I see. If so, he did it backwards, these shots wouldn't end up helping over here until later. That's brilliant. Right. Yeah. So six, it's blue. Now, um, five I'm still in clouds in this situation, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and so that's going to be the short range, but it's going to move it out to the... Uh, I can still fire, but it gives me my blue die to start out with. 
Uh, and then what's your? Uh, red and a blue. Red and a blue. Uh, if I can <laughs> grab that red and black. Uh, can I grab another blue, please? Oh, blue. Red and blue, and then the crew. And I got one of these. All right, you gotta roll well. It's not, the odds aren't in your favor. Five, eight, nine, that, 13 on no. five. That That's, is not gonna cut that it. That is not, not gonna on the cut guy it. like this. And then one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So then it's just gonna be my two other shots on coming in on you. Um, so then you what's declare, your side? Should you declare the rest of your shots? Oh, sorry. I absolutely forgot about that part. Yes. He's gonna be firing there. He's firing here. Um, and then everything else that I can is firing on yeah. him. So you're going to ignore this, this guy. little English guy here. Yep. You're just going to go full bore. He's shooting this guy. He and he are going to shoot him. Uh, any shots that can't reach here will go there. All Everything else will go here. As it is, I made a mistake with him because just like you getting too excited, I got a little excited. I should have turned him turned. in place. Yep. Because his entire side is just sitting out there open for them. <laughs> and instead, I should have stayed out here well, and, and turned in place to lost, rotate around. He doesn't have any guns on that side. I don't have any guns. So that was, that was my bad too. I got I yep. got lost in the excitement. Okay. So then we are... Uh, so then just to finish off the... Yep. Uh, Jean d'Arc firing on yours. Sorry, what was your side again? Uh, my side of... So it's blue, on the... Blue, uh, sorry, on which guy are we looking at? Oh, Brandenburg. Brandenburg. It is a black. Okay, so I've got uh, two of these. On the Brandenburg. Ooh, nice. 20, 20 on 20 three. 20 on the three. Oh, yes. Hop. Cruise down. Nice. And 11. 14 on the five. One off. Bummer. Yep. Okay, and then the Breton. It's all good. Yep. So um, two guns right now? So yeah, bracketing two guns together. So two, so two greens guns one shot. and the green, and then it was the, uh, sorry, black and red, or? Uh, black, or no, red and yellow. Red and yellow, that's what it was, sorry about that. And so. So not... bracketing my guns off of this ship to try to hit him. Eesh. Oh. 15. 15 on the five. So that's actually, it's still a reroll. And one through three, because all of the armor is gone, we'll still cut it. There we go. There it is. So we still get a knockdown. So now the next one is officially valid. Okay. <laughs> Do you get another shot though? Because bracketing gets another uh, shot. Uh, no, no, no. Bracketing, that's what I'm saying. Oh, Remember, it's together. less damage right, right. to well, increase the gun, odds. But I do have a third gun. You have a piddly little thing in the back. I highly doubt he's going to be able to hit. But hey, I'll take every Number's chance possible. I got. <laughs> 14 on three. Which Reroll, the... you need a one or a two. Uh, no. Okay. So what does that mean? So now, uh, that means nothing. Okay. Nothing happened. Now the big guy. So then still your red and yellow. Yep. To, and it's going to be long range. So bringing in the yellow as well and saturation. And I've got two of these guys. Ooh. 12. Ooh. 12 on the four and six. Was it you didn't have a crew? I did have a crew. There Thank you, you. What the heck? He's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. 15 on the four and six. All right. So once again, you're re-rolling. You need one through threes for those to hit. <sighs> no. no. Next shot. Second shot. Oh. 22. That'll do it. So both of those are going to hit. Okay. So now we are officially, so at 32 minus 12 is 20. So he has two shots. The first one, he needs a perfect 20. And the next one, he needs a 19 or 20. Which, let's be clear. 20 on that one? Yes. Which, which, is, which is 210, so it's the max I can get. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> one in 100. Yeah. So no. <gasps> oh, you got a 10 and a 6. Oh it my God. It. That knocks it down. And so now, now it's a 19. Need a 19. Now it's 3 out of 100. Oh, oh, 17. Oh, oh, 17. Man, I still got two shots, man. Yep. Uh, so saturation gun 30. is out, and the yellow is out, and the blue comes in, and it is this. So what if you roll really, really high here? He's still got chance. Ooh, Ooh. 11, 12, 13, 14 on one. All That's right, we roll one or a two. <sighs> nope. The last shot. Nice and high. What's that? 12, uh, fifth, uh, ugh. 17 on the five. Okay, we roll and don't get a six. No, you say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> Eight. 18. Oh, oh, no. So close. But you're working him down. He is. 
No, he is. He has dropped my number down to 29. That's crazy. That structural integrity of that ship is insanity. Yep. No, it is, it, it is, it is it's a German. battleship to begin with, and it's a German battleship. Okay, okay bring you, it. So there's nothing else to do now. He gets to pepper back on you. Yep. All right. So we've very much gone for two different strategies because his entire goal at this point is to drop my battleship, where if I've been focusing on the little guys. Yeah. But if he still drops my battleship, he can still turn this around. Uh, it's very possible. Uh, okay. Starting off, oh no, you missed the anti fighter on the right bottom. Here. Oh, thank you. Uh, so that's which a can actually blue? do damage now, right? If he rolls a six, it, oh, it's good. Uh, yep. If he rolls a six, it's dead. Nope, Two. nope. <laughs> All right. Sudo uh, is going to go ahead and he wants to see if he can kill it. Um, so your side is a black. Yep. It is a blue, and then it's a green crew, and I got two of these. Uh, that's a 13, 13 on a five. Nope. Oh, you, that's right. You still have a slot there. I still have a slot. Thank you, slot. 12 on a one. So I need a re-roll. Re it's one, two, or three. Yep. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Yes. The ship survives. All right. For now. Um, For now. The wolf wants to be a part of this. Who's He's he got his one gun. She's yeah. coming over here. <laughs> Absolutely. So it's literally the exact same roll. So he's shooting down at this guy. Yep. This guy. Oh, no. Complete whiff. Wolf whiff. Yeah, you All need to right. Fire that captain. And the bomber is still in this. Yeah. Because you could not get Coming that thing. The Where's the bomber here? So it's yeah. He's, he's a, doing, some pretty good nope, dice. He's in the side still. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, there we go. Good. Very good. Okay. Okay. So two, chance. four, six, eight, ten. And he's rolling a 12. That's pretty good. 11. No! 11! Woo! Where that knocks it down. This is 21. Just wow. stayed in the game. Right, we're, not, we're not done. We're <laughs> done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brand. Oh, no, that was all my. No, you blew up my short Yes. Gun, and I called all the long ones out there. Yep. Oh, oh man. Oh, so good. Oh, man. So, so you, because you called short on, on him and long there, you realize, Captain, Captain, the short ones are done. Oh, that's Scottish, but that's yeah. not <laughs> Captain, these, these short ones are done. I yep. can't, that's French. I can't do German. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot think of a German accent right now. All right. The, so that, the, the short ones. unfortunately, is a very disappointing turn of events. So this guy does not die this turn. Yep. Nope. So da -da 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 -da. Brandenburg da -da -da -da. coming in right over here. Um, it is the black. The Jean d'Arc. Yep. This, this game is fun. Uh, we think so. We really do. Well, that's my first um, time actually watching this be played. Nice. I didn't get to watch that. No, you didn't. You had to run out on us. Yeah, this is crazy. Ooh, 13. Um, 13 on three. 13 on the three. 12, 13. You got it. Nice. Come a good crew. Could too. Uh, Oof. 17. Yeah. 17 on five. the five. Oh, yeah. Hacking in there. This and is on the one. This guy here? Yep. Yeah. And this is going to drop down to here. Okay. Isn't it this side you're hitting? Yes. Other side. So oh, why we have you here. Yeah, yeah. I got you. And that last one will miss, so just fix those two. There you go. All right, and finally my long gun's going against the Italian battleship. He has a red-blue. Little thinner profile, so not as uh, big a gun as dice as I provide. Coming in on my four port. And a blue and a yellow, and I've got three of these. Yep, 18. Oof. 18 on the three and five. 18 on the three and the five, yep. Much lower numbers than the Germans. I'm rolling crazy good here. 20. Yes. 19 wow. on the one and six. Or yeah, 20 on the one and six. six. Yep. Ouch. And ouch. And one more of these guys, right? Oh. Um, 15. Yeah. On the two, two and on the four. Two. And the four. Reroll. Reroll. What do you need? One. So two, four, six, eight, ten. You can do it on a twenty. No. Nope. Okay. okay. No, those were crazy good rolls. Yeah. Those, those that, were that, was, that was the opposite rolls. of what you needed there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Those were crazy. Yeah. Good absolutely. Rolls. That was crazy. All right. And I think that was my battleship all done. That is this guy, that guy, that guy. My fight, my bomber went. I'm done. Okay. So now we actually have repairs. Yes. Okay. 
So, you so can, the yeah. way we're, so you can look at a spot that's been X'd out. Yeah. And that means it was destroyed on a previous turn. So you can, in fact, repair it now. And there's only two slots that can't be repaired, which is crew and armor. Outside of that, okay, crewing, uh, can you grab me two reds? The dice yep. keep migrating to that side. Okay. The winner's side. So, yes. Oh. So what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, you're going to pick a slot. Again, can't be crew or can't be armor. And you can only attempt one repair with it. But you can attempt a repairs a number of times equal to the crew that you have. I see. So if I had a crew that was still alive in this location yep. and I was trying to repair my gun, which you almost always want to repair your guns, I would then grab the blue and I would add to that. And then I would have to roll a 15 or better with all three of these. And if you do, you okay? repair And if you do, you repair it. However, because I'm having to send crew from another part of the ship over, okay, First, I have to use that crew, which is the green, yeah. okay? And then second, it's an 18 because they're scrambling yes. across a much larger distance. Roll 18 on the so I will, in fact, take uh, this crew and try to do that so gun. 18. So I need an 18, which not I do not get. Happening. I will then take this crew and try and go for the other gun. Once again, 18. And you get it. And I get it, okay? And so you're literally gonna mark that back into play. Okay, and that's exactly how it goes. Uh, I have no more crew because the crew was dead here. Yeah. And then these were just damaged this turn, so I can't do anything about right. that. Okay. So then I cross them off, Bryn repairs if he can. So over to my side, so I have an unfortunate thing. So I have an Admiral card that gives me a repair bonus, um, but it's I may repair at a 12 plus when crew are in the same section as the damage slot. Yeah. Unfortunately, everywhere I'm damaged, both on my Wolf and the Frederick, my crew are all destroyed dead. or they're not there. Right. So my bonus, while really cool, is not coming into effect. Okay. Sweet. And you have the Tesla support, it says. Yes. So we'll get to test. Do you have Actually, a? No. It is I yet have to come up. Completely missed You're, all sir, of the I tests. can't use the I know. Admiral card. For <laughs> I know. You use my, that. my cool Admiral card just hasn't come into play because no Tesla slot has been destroyed. Be, yes. All right. Dude, you got it. So you got to throw I a did. See, this is why on. we have these tokens because it's missed. Um, yeah, so the Tesla coils are these copper frames along the side. They are the magical goo, the electroid going along the side and balancing the ship. The copper frame. So oh, when they that. are destroyed, they there's less balance because they're not there to keep it all at the same level. And so it's hard to shoot. So you have this token, minus one, to remind you that you have a minus one to all of your shots. Oh, wow. That's not good. Yeah. So he actually has a Tesla support where once per turn, he can just ignore that effect. Oh, that's, that's his admiral that's special that's ability. This card here. Yeah. yeah. Tesla support. But again, he has yet to have it be relevant because I have either destroyed the ship or it's always been avoided. But yeah, you have somehow. a repair bonus that's also irrelevant. Because, yep. because it of, uh, just so yep. happens it's just both so happen. cards. They're really cool cards. Well, They're really neat. We just it. can't seem to make them work. Okay, so now we're back to this. Uh, I have not repaired yet. Okay, so you're gonna make your. He's gonna, gonna repair. finish repairing. Um, I have a gun. I will try to repair, and that's not happening. No, you have eighteen. Second gun. Yeah, they'll all be eighteen, no. and then finally my Tesla coil. I was the only other legal Minus thing I one, right? in there, and that does not repair it either. All right, so no repairs for you. No repairs for me. No repairs for you. No soup for you. Got a repair bonus, but it don't matter. Okay, so then we are back up to the top. Torpedoes. And it's a five. Oh, this is the this is your big turn, Randall. Uh, he Could can kill be. it, man. Oh, he's he is totally gonna stop anything from moving anywhere. Still get you. Still get you. <laughs> uh, turn <laughs> this <laughs> way. <laughs> so then we're gonna <laughs> do <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. Kay. All right. Hold on. So what did you just do? You, you stacked or two, two torpedoes and <coughs> one there because you know you're going to get them. So because he has a couple options, right? Like he can do the turn in place, which he did last time, okay, or two turns ago. Yeah. And that was great because I, I got the double black out of it. Yeah. But he didn't have the torpedoes hit him, okay? So I'm fine getting the double black, but right now I really want those torpedoes to hit so his structural integrity will continue to go down. That's right. And I believe, now he may find a way out, but I believe I've set it up in a way that even if all he does is turn, I'm still gonna get at least two torpedoes on him. And maybe all three, but all right, we're about to find out. Do. Yeah, so I have to get this thing into protection. 
Yeah, so you, you got a Nothing gun. else matters, so I am just turning in place again. So you're taking the torpedoes just in a different side of the ship. Yep. Correct. To keep those things safe as much, as long as possible. Um, now he has, he's lost his destroyer. I don't know if this guy can make it to the other side, so we'll have to see. So um, you just rotated, so you, so you get, okay, let's see. Yep. All right, uh, Italians. Okay. And then I, unfortunately, because he killed my improved steering slot, I out. cannot do the insane maneuvering anymore. But you still are pretty good. I've still got the other stuff going. It's just the really ridiculous stuff. So Make one, uh, two, three, four, and five. We'll just rotate a little closer. Get my guns on a little better. Um, I think the rest of your stuff moves. You know what? I'm gonna, I was right here. Yeah. Yep. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, and five. Go the other direction, actually. Okay, that's, that's cool. <clears throat> now, now, oh wow, that's, you're in the cloud too, right? Um, the backside's well, the, well, and my my nose is up on his thing. Oh yeah, no, I see it. That's fine. So it's up there. We'll we'll move it in once we get it moved. Yeah, yeah. Um, one, two, three, four. That's all you do. Uh, <clears throat> one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I see. Okay, so you're right there for now. Yeah. I'll hold it there. Yeah. Yeah. And then he is going to turn in place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, no, because he'll crash. Yeah. I can't. So I need to go one, two, three, four. Five, six. That's fine. We'll do broadsides with you. I'm okay with that. This turn. All right. And then he was here. Oh, I see. Okay. So he went in. He actually moved into the ship. He moved into the ship. I know I'm going to get hammered, but it's turn five. And this kept all of the my huge damage side away. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Taking the torpedoes for him. Oh, yes. That's his job. That is oh. his job. And then my little fighter, my bomber, fighter's just gonna continue to chill and hide. The bomber is going to swing around and come against this side. Okay, okay your weak side. Yep. Okay. So then the torpedoes. torpedoes. Uh, can I get another red, please? Not yet. Oh, All right, you're gonna do Number your one. chaff. Nope. Fails. Number two. Nope. Fails. Number what, three. What are these? Oh, chaff. This Those is a chaff. chaff. Wow. Which Total means, whiff. Yeah, that was terrible. He should have gotten one of those. So now three torpedoes on this guy? On the yep. wolf. If you kill the wolf by some strange chance, which you might have just done there with 12, 16 on two. 20 yeah. on the two. Oh, wow. Sorry. 20 one on armor two. set gone. And uh, 15, 15 on the one. No, one's, oh. one's always a miss. And 16 on the four. Yeah, I'll do it. Yep. All right. Nice. Wow. Um, I like that you can take the cards and place them. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Good direction. Oh, I'll get rid of this for okay. you. Yo, uh, Italian uh, Do you want to go first? Yep. All right. Okay. Declaring fire. He is going to shoot into his side. Um, <laughs> all of these guys are shooting him. Okay. <laughs> I'm pissed from last turn. <laughs> I'm very upset. <laughs> and it's your good side now. Yeah, yeah. And then, all right. What's going to be really funny is if your bomber kills me. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. Me on the other side. Um, he will be firing over here with uh, the port gun. Starbird will be going into your stern. Turrets on that guy. Um, turrets. That guy. This guy. He's on dark is here. Uh, Which one does it go to? Uh, that'll be going in the stern. Yep. Uh, the Breton, the, he has one big gun that he will be able to fire over. Uh, no, we'll get it in there. So he'll be firing into uh, Brandenburg's side. Brandenburg side, and then everything else is going into okay. the battleship, the Brandenburg. All right, let's what a, go. What a crazy turn of events. Brandenburg. 
Um, Bring it. That, that. So, so build it for me. Build it for me. Tell me what's going yep. on here. Yep. So, so, I got Brandenburg. his side. I got his side. He's, he's a black. Yeah. My front guns have the yellows. Yeah. And a so the, the green, green crew. Green crew. All right. So, and these slot, guys are all shooting into him. This guy's shooting him. Oh, these, so all on his side. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Let's so, we his side. He's got a fresh side. Yep. Yep. Uh, and that's a total whiff. whiff. Total whiff. Eight, nine or whiff. Nine. Uh, 18 on a three. That'll do it. Clink. And then I have a smaller gun. It has lost its crew. So I don't get that, and it'll be that. Okay. So not a very good roll here. And shit on here as well. Again, no reason not to try. Ten but on, nope. Slink. Total miss again. All right, he got a he got a hit in. <laughs> kink, 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 kink. Done. Brandenburg is just kind of going around, taking some pecks out. It's chip damage. That's right. Now you've got the, you want to shoot this guy? Now I have the battleship. He is actually going to go. All right. Because he, he is going to try to. He wants this thing wrecked so yep. the bomber gets the bonus. <laughs> He wants the bomb gets the most. Additionally, um, in one of the few cases, you generally want to shoot your big guns first yeah. because if armor gets cleared, yeah. then those rerolls don't get it. You're right. You're right. So you want those big guns. So this to test clear the pile still minus one on everything. Yep. Correct. Um, right. Black for the side. A red. I'm just gonna go ahead. We've had this up here. We're good. Red, and then a green crew, and I've got three of these. Three of those. Yep. yep. Ugh. Ooh, uh, 12. 12 on the one and four. 11 on the one and four. Oh. 11 on the one and four, thank you. So that is going to be a double miss because of that Tesla coil. Yep. yep. Wow. That's All right, right, dropping that down. 21 on the three and five. Now do it. <laughs> and finally. Oh, no. That's a 10 on the two and three. You don't even have a 10 nope. spot. Nope. That was terrible rolling. Wow. That was awful. But I do have my two that, shorter that was and smaller guns. So I'm going to go. Yeah, but this is all too far, right? <laughs> blue. Um, the blue gun and the green crew on the black side. And I'm going to bracket that just to get this one hit in. Maybe not. Uh, 16 on the two. 15. Do it. 15, yep. That still gets through. Yep. Um, we are going to go ahead and go down to the... Silao, who's in his stern. Yeah. D yellow. Um, D yellow, a D green, and a D blue. And I got two of these. First shot. Ooh, uh, that 15. is definitely your two. Yeah. And second shot is mm, uh, 12, 12 on the three, or 11 on the three. Mm, yep. Okay. I guess it's the weakest spot, right? Oh, yeah. Stern's weakest. Wow, look at all that shots. All right. Um, and now the wolf is going to go in with his shot on the side. Man, that ship is taking a beating. He's still, still going. going. We're going still for Still going it. so far. Uh, yellow. I can't believe it's the entire green. fleet to take that ship down. <laughs> yep. It's been ridiculous. Um, and black. This is pretty good odds. Except when you On roll. the five is a reroll. On the one. Okay. All right, all I have left is a little bomber. Hit well, you've done a lot of damage. All you gotta do is hit. 13. 13 on the five does not hit. Oh no! Unbelievable. <laughs> yes! Oh my god. I can't I'm so, believe I'm so sorry. Oh, no, I'm oh, oh, my poor oh, hair. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oh no, you no, see that? No, yeah, yeah, no, he no, gave no, it. No, he no, did. No, I literally, no, 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 I literally no, transitioned to his face on camera. No, 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 no. We have that oh, on camera. So. Hold, on Hold on a second. Oh man, Brand, that was tough. Okay. I just want to say we have that on camera. We are shaving Brent's head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that everything? Uh, yeah. Oh yes. man. That was everything. Oh. What is that? <laughs> Show that. It. Hold that ship up. Just hold it up to the camera here. <laughs> That's disgusting. There's more marker on that than there are graphics. Yes, yeah, it's fantastic. Oh man, I love it. <laughs> okay, let's go to the. Okay. Uh, so then, now it's, your turn to yeah, him. it's my turn. Uh, we'll start with the Jean d'Arc into your stern. Um, and we've got uh, 175 millimeters. So what's your, uh, right? what's your stern? Yes. Uh, stern. My stern is a red blue. So red blue for the stern. And starting with my small gun, that'll be a blue. And my crew is dead. So 
Just this. You or cruise dead or just on just this side? Out. No, no. Oh, X, sexed out. And that's all you get for this? Uh, 13 so on 13 the on the four. That won't do it. There were quite a few slots no, back there, but that wasn't one of them. So then this should be doing it fine in a saturation. Can I get a D6, please? Yep. Come on. This is what we need. There oh, is. yeah. 18, 19. 19 yep. on the four and five. Oh, yeah. that's going to cause some problems. So Jean d'Arc is now done. He's in that shooting over here, too. And then, um, oh, you are correct. Thank you. You're keeping us honest. Well, uh, so D black on the side. I want to see the head shit. D black on the side, right? <laughs> yeah. Bren? Yes. Brandenburg's D black. He's thinking about his Yeah, I am. No, and it's. And bracket. keep on threatening me. Uh, I don't appreciate I'm going to go ahead and bracket fire. So both guns, oh, his location me. die, and a blue crew die that I do have still this turn, even though it'll be dead at the end of the turn. They're dying. They're taking their party shot. Um, so that is a great 19. shot. 19 on the four. 19 on the four. Yep. So now the Jean Derek stuff. Another Tesla coil. Okay. So then the Breton yes. is coming into yeah. your um, side. And I want this definitely in the four if I can. So one, two, three. Excellent. Because that's where most of this is going to automatically hit. Yep. Is your foot uh, you're hitting here? Your bow won't, but. Yeah. So you're hitting here? Yes. Okay. So you're taking out this. Yep, correct. All the big guns. Okay, which is what I want. So then we've got, uh, we're going to do, no, I'm going to, oh, no, you're the Germans. I'm going to bracket fire. Uh, you always got to pound on the, the Germans. They're just so much armor. They're tough. Don't, don't take a chance. This is all about just getting a slot killed. And then it's uh, red and yellow. Yep. Okay. That's a lot of dice. It's a lot of ones. Although you might still have got it. Wow, well, maybe 9, uh, 10, 13, 17 14, on the 5? Yeah. No. 17 on the 5 doesn't do it? Armor bounces it off. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then coming in, we're going to drop the two blues off and add in a yellow. So then I've got two of these shots. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 on 1. That'll do it. Wow. And second shot. Nope. That will cut it. Nothing. Okay, so and then I have behind. one shot coming in on the Brandenburg from the other side. Yep. Yeah. Uh, which is a yellow crew died last turn. We black. I've made, we just we made a mistake. What? I didn't move. What do you mean you didn't move? I didn't move. Oh, at all? Using the wrong. I turned in place. We are you. Oh. Yep. Oh, so he gets more right. dice against me. He gets better dice against me. Um, so we'll keep the stern because yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah, we'll do Let's fine. just redo his shots from the top. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, wow. no, you're okay. absolutely right. I forgot the double blacks. Very honest. Okay, so yeah, double blacks. Shave your <laughs> That's um, why he did. Yes. I still would bracket fire because I'm just looking for dead slots here. So then that, 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 Saturation. that, uh, the, no, not yet. You're so gonna this bracket fire? one. I wouldn't bracket fire that. Yeah, I would. Uh, this is why I bracket fire. You still fire. got him. His 14 still gets the, the one. Or the, or the two. two. That's the two, which that was not the one, so it does not do it. Oh, man. Wow, you should have just said leave it. That was it. terrible. You gave him two points back. Okay, two. That'll do it. That'll do it. On the six. Yep. And the that second works. shot. That's a better slot. 10, 14 on two. We'll do it. Nope, Armor's got down. the armor. Oh, okay. Because you still had it. All right, we still got, okay. you still net positive one. Yep, it's a, a and piece. it's a better piece. It's a better piece. Okay, uh, so then we'll do the one shot over here. D black for the Brandenburg. Uh, crew is gone. Uh, blue for the long range. It's going to be a tough it. shot. This guy from this. Yep. Port shot in the starboard. Yeah, Thir yeah that's not happening. Five. Okay, so now we're back to now the, the Vesuvius. Goes. Yep. And this is one... Uh, two, three, four, five, six. So the front gun, I have to roll. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, nope. going in the back. Okay. So saturation. So it's a black, black. And then the crew. Spot. Yeah. And uh, red. So here's my first gun. Saturation, you said? Uh, yes, thank you. 
Oh yeah. Oh my god. Three on the five. There goes my big gun and the crew in that section. Okay. Can can I leave the crew there, please? I need to. So now I'm moving over to this gun, which automatically rotates it up into the port because of where it's coming in. Oh yeah. Nine twenty-one. Okay. Same two slots. And then the Six. last two guns are my two hundred and fifty millimeters. The that goes out, red goes out, and blue comes in. So I've got two shots of this. Or no, sorry. Uh, the crew blue. Sorry, the green crew goes out for a blue crew. So I got two of these shots, both coming in yep. on the four port or Ten, four starboard. 13, Fourteen. On three. Or two on three? You need a one or a two. No. And the last one. Uh, 16, 19 on six. We roll. One. Oh. What did you need? He wanted to try to get I a needed to get a field. second slot. Yep. He did get a second slot. No, no, he no. Wanted to, re-roll to hit damage. a slot that had already oh, been destroyed so I get a break in the kill roll. And so no break in the kill roll. So no, that's it. That's the, now it's the, 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 the final turn. Okay. It's repair turn now. It is repair. Um, so then I will be attempting um, to repair uh, big gun always. Crew, uh, crew is down I here, so it's crew. 18. Nope. Nope. Uh, though that was pretty dang close. Nope. Nope. Uh, my improved steering gear, and that'll be an 18. Last, but, no. Nope. Yeah, last attempt. You get you get cruise though? No. And no, one, yeah, the torpedo. No. Nope. 18. All right, cool. So everyone watching, nope. that is literally them just making a bunch of crew repair rolls and, and all of them going bad. colossally failing. Nope. All failures. You and once it. again, my repair bonus, useless to me. Steering gear <laughs> is going You're to You're doing another repair? Yeah. Last my last one. So, so far it's been a universal failure on the steering 18. gear. Nope. Yeah. Universal fails. Whole bunch fails. Now, unfortunately, the for the Breton, okay, I took an engine hit, and that engine hit has an MP3 on it, which means three movement points are gone, so now he's only moving it up. I five. have taken a movement point, so I'm actually down to two. So here is where... And so I you... finally hit a Tesla coil, by the way. Oh, so there you can go. I get a token? Yes. Yes, I got... Uh... Right here. Because, you know, when you've almost destroyed every slot but haven't killed it, yep. this is what happens. Yep. So here's where, you know, you've seen the Germans and their strength. This is their big problem. I've just lost an engine slot. So he can totally get you a torpedo. I now. can't turn anymore. I can turn in place still, but I can't move forward and turn. That ability is entirely so lost. So he, he's going to get you a torpedo now. Oh, absolutely. Okay. So Sitting. Dice. Duck. Oh, this Last is it. turn. Last turn. Last folks. turn. Last turn. Moving up to the six. Torpedoes. And torpedo times. I mean, you know, this little guy's going to take it. That's why he's here. But he can't take all three. <laughs> One. Well, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> Putting on the other side of my wolf, and he's going to struggle. Two. Two. Yeah, he can't turn back around. Nope. <laughs> he might be able to get one of them. He could not stop all of them now. Turns on that. Turn the torpedo this way. Put the torpedo here facing this It's all way. coming from this guy. It's coming from this guy. And so it has to be <laughs> in that direction. <laughs> okay. Okay, so just replacement. You put them all here so they're all hitting him. Because you can only go one, two, right? So. Yep. So. Or if he turned in place. Yeah, I can't do that. He again. doesn't want to turn in place. He doesn't want this side to get hit. One. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Importantly, with the torpedoes again, because it is going different to phase. Meet two. in a different phase, if he kills me with that torpedo, he's gone before anything happens. Yeah, yeah. which well, we would don't be magnificent. Left anyway. I've still got big guns. I've still okay. got big guns. I move here. my guy. Yep. Um, it's your turn. You. Now back to me. Yeah, it's all of you. Yeah, it's all of me. But for the Jean d'Arc, uh, one, two, three. Oh, do I even want to get out of your stern? I don't think I do. 
I was thinking that I was going to whip no, over to this it, side, you leave it but for this guy, I, it's very like unlikely that I'm going to be able to kill him in one turn. Yeah, and being able to stay and throw all my guns into his big ship, into the stern is what it's all about. Yeah. And so then he's only got five. This guy's in trouble. One into the clouds. Two, <laughs> four, five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's the big, uh, it's the sharks around, or the orcas around the whale. Yeah. Oh my God. It's a humpback yeah. whale. A I'm disaster. taking you down. All right. He's not going to move because he doesn't want to move into the clouds and no one's going to spend time fighting him right now. Exactly. Yeah. So he might as well just stay put. Um, <sighs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Oh, he's gonna swing around one shot. and see if he, he can one shot. He can him. do something. Twenty-nine. It is absolutely possible. One, Highly unlikely. This is this is the desperation throw. Absolutely, him. total hail mary. All right. Okay. Um, uh, torpedoes. Yeah. Oh. So first, you need to roll to see where these two end up. First Either one. Either way, you're winning. Back, back, back. Second one. Back. back. So all, all three, three back. in the back. Now, importantly, D red, please. I. Still have a chaff back there. Okay. He needs to roll nines. So one die. One, oh, one dies. Okay. D red, which is exactly what it should have been the whole time. <laughs> and two shots. First one. Reroll. Oh. Gone. And the second one. Come on. 13. No. Oh. Nice try. This fight is not done yet. <laughs> Got my stack of Tesla coils. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's right, do it. Claire, who's shy? Uh, I oh, sorry. It. I take it. Your bomber has to go in. The bomber has not moved. No, oh, yeah, bring the bomber in. Uh, so he'll be firing if he has a side gun over here on the Brandenburg. Did you shoot my bomber last turn? Um, yeah, but he didn't kill it. No. He anti fired it and didn't kill it. Got that was two damage. turns ago. That was two oh, turns ago. What, yeah, uh, it was a blue. Blue? Yep, I forgot about him. Sorry about that. And you killed him. Never mind. Nice. Bomber's gone. I'll just take the fighter off the board too. Yeah, he's fine. He's, he's, he's done. For he now. sees what's happening to this guy. And he's <laughs> he's out. out. <laughs> so anything that he can fire over here will be going in the wolf. All of that over there. All of that over there. If there's a shot here over the Brandenburg. Okay. okay. Um, I. So, go ahead. I'll let you go first. I all of this is shooting him. <laughs> the wolf is the only one that's gonna play a game to see. Okay. If. Actually, his front gun has to shoot him. Correct. So his front gun is going you, here because it go can't back go that far, that far. So then it's literally just his okay. back gun shooting at him. Okay. Bring the bring the Breton. Okay. Bring Brandenburg. Can... Coming in on the port side. Yep. Over here. Oh, and he also has a Tesla coil, but we ran out of markers. Yes, minus minus one. We know it's minus one. Yep. I'll uh, keep track black. of your minuses, don't worry. I'm here, I'm here to help you guys. Yeah, Good referee. And I appreciate yellow, that. Because it is short range. Two of these. All right, 13, 14 on the one. 13. 13 on the one. That's what you're here. Uh, Reroll. It. Two, four, six, mm -mm, eight. Mm -mm. 14. 13. No! Yeah. This is so upsetting. <laughs> yeah, I, was waiting, so I was waiting upsetting. for him to realize it. Oh, that was so upsetting. <laughs> That's even more upsetting. nothing. A nine. And then I nothing. have literally that. <laughs> He's shaving his head. Oh, man. No, it's not. It was not. 15 on a five. 15 on a five. Uh, that'll armor's get it. gone, so that'll get it. All right. It's another slot down. <laughs> He's done. Still can't kill your ship. I know. This is like, what's it called? The Breton? The Breton? The Breton. The Breton is like. Yeah, bring it. The, He's the best captain it, in the fleet. It, it's the uh, it's the Dauntless. It just does not die. All right, over here, um, he is going to fire his single back gun <laughs> into this side. Into the this side. Time. Yep. Into my starboard. A, a red. Ten and bucks a says green. He gets, uh, he gets a six. And it's a minus three. Oh, he's got a minus three yeah, on that. Fine. Yeah. No. There we are. Here 16. we are. Sixteen on the one and three. It's actually really good. Reroll uh, both. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Five and two. Two chances. Two chances. So Here two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Dude, six. So he needs a six for the first one. There we are. Okay. There it is. So it's finally dead. So it, it is, is dead. dead at the end of the but turn. He gets to shoot. Right? Oh, of course. Oh yes. Yeah. All right, and now 
everything else, see if we can everything do it. else that was firing on us so was all that. Nope. So now we don't need yeah, to fire. Yep. But he had the wolf. So for the wolf, who wants to see? He's guaranteed he's, in that section. Yeah, he's playing the game. Yeah. Blue. But the wolf's minus two, isn't he? Um, That's the the wolf one. is a minus one. Yeah. I got you. I want his head shit. This is not. I did not agree no, to this. No, no. <laughs> this is not happening. No, I know. It's not. Yellow. Uh, green. Oh, you're going everything, eh? Watch that minus one make sense. Oh, definitely. Here we are, the five slot, re-rolling. 18, five again. Okay. Five, so two, four, six, I mean, 19. eight, 10. I need mean, 19. Now, does Here the minus one on the Tesla thing add to this? No. So no. no. Okay. 19. Here we go. If this you get one, this, this will be awesome. Get this. Get this. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. Not even close. Close. Five, one, and we're done. That was yep. crazy. So 29 to So here's where we're at points-wise. So I have killed two of his ships. His destroyer was worth, I believe, 180 points. And his well, he cruiser that just lost, yeah. No, so he's just, just doing a set of where we're at at the points. Oh. And the veteran is another 20. So he's lost 400 points worth. And you've not lost anything yet. I Except have for the bomber. lost a bomber um, for the 40 points. <laughs> the battleship is 430 points. So if he kills it, he still wins, even though he's lost two ships to, and it'll only so be my one. have to kill I this, or, to he kill wins. Yes. or he wins. All right, so I, hey. everything is now where we're sitting. This is where this we're is at. It. The hallmark of a good game is taking right it down, down to the, the wire. wire. Right down to the yeah. wire. Okay. So the Breton coming into your For the stern. Uh, we're going to start. Uh, you did move forward. I so did it move is forward. The, the yellow and the Please, red. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yellow because it's short range. He does not have a crew because his ship is almost crewless. Um, so this is the first shot into the stern. <coughs> so 15. 15 on the three. Yep, there goes another gun. Okay. And then is my two, two guns left? 75 millimeters. We'll trade that out for the blue. And I do have a crew. So then two of these single shots. Uh, 14 on the two. Yep. Wow. And uh, 15, 15 on the two. On the two. Anything but one. That's it. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Eight, You're seven. in an eight. 29. Oh, eight. I'm not sure I've ever gotten that stupid German battleship so, that that's low. so low. I love it. Six. Six. Oh, okay. We're still going. So that was the Breton. And he is gone. I'm removing uh, him. He's dead. No, wait. I got one shot over here, dude. I'm no, taking it. No one, one cares. Two, three, four, five, six. They would be upset at me if I did not take a shot that is supposed to happen. No, yes. don't be upset at him. <laughs> don't be upset at him. <laughs> Let's do it. So he, uh, he so could D punch, black, he could do it. D yellow and the crew, or no, D blue and the crew. Uh, 15 on those. So here three. it is. He actually um, got through. Oh, you got the red here. So too. you're yes. actually, so funny enough, you're actually a 12 or 14. Or 14. But in the one case where it finally came up, oh, I get to Tesla ignore it. support ignores that. So you're 15. So you okay. can reroll. And if you get a three or four, you could then roll. If you got a 20, you kill it. No. Nope. So you kill just another gun and we're done. Okay. okay. So now the Breton is done. So now the you want that shit? I, oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at that! Look at oh, that! That is amazing. Disgusting. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Your other ship, look, your other ship was almost as bad. No, not nearly as bad, dude. Well, we'll say what makes for sure. <laughs> the French are definitely resilient. Okay, so now the Jean d'Arc uh, again. In the, the rear. red, yep, in the stern. Blue or uh, red and yellow is his location die. Red and blue. Uh, sorry, red and blue. Uh, red yeah. and blue. Red and blue. Brain just shut down for a sec. You got battles. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so then blue, my first gun is the slot die. There we go. No crew. So this is the first one. Still coming in the 14 stern. On 14 two. on the two. We roll. It's right in. Three. It's a shot. Need a seven. Three. Unbelievable. Three. 
This game is not over yet. It was a nope. three. I know. What <laughs> We're still here. Okay, so we're still this here. Let's go. And Give it a shot. Come on. Oh yeah, I still have more guns. And this hasn't even hit yet. That hasn't even started to fire. So then, oh. Um, it's okay. We're fine. He's gonna miss this one. Mm, almost. 15 uh, on three. 15 on the three. Oh, you roll again. one or six, please. There oh, we go. Just no. destroyed. That's it. That's it. Okay, so now on to the Vesuvius. Here we are, last ship. And this is all into the broadside. So am I going front or back? It really doesn't matter. Four, you four port. Seat. So then Two. back to the yep. yellow and red for you. Yep. And the we are one, two, three, four, five, six. So short range, so red, saturation, and a crew. And I got two of these. This should be decent. Three and five, which are two slots you want to hit. And you definitely got in at 21. Uh, yeah, 21 at roll five both. and three. three. Three and five, you want. It, the, well, the first roll is a, a six. Yeah. And if I fail, then the next roll is a five. Okay. So the first one. And oh, there we go. Oh, Germans okay. go over. I sneak it out by only like 20 points, Like right? 20 points. Yeah, like yeah. 20 points. No, it's super, crazy close. Super yeah. close game. The freaking Bretagne never dying. That's yeah. that. No, that, that, that carried oh, the day man. for me. So that made up well, for my horrible mistake at the beginning. Oh, that so. was awful. So there you go. So my question is, what time are we shaving your head tomorrow? <laughs> never, it's, it's, not, I, it's not happening. I don't, this isn't occurring. Okay, now I want to ask uh, six quick questions. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So what is the theme slash genre of this game? If you were to describe this to people. This is alternate history, World War One, where uh, these are steampunk vessels blowing each other out of the sky. Presentation, what's, what's the presentation of this game? Well, the gameplay really is what you kind of see here in front of you. The standard game is on a play mat of this size. Uh, and generally the standard game is gonna be four ships facing four ships. Now, some of the factions tend to lean a little bit more to maybe a slightly smaller fleet or a slightly larger fleet, right. but really it's gonna be a battleship uh, you know, a cruiser and two destroyers. Right. But as we just played out, it was actually a battleship cruiser and two destroyers against a battleship, two cruisers and a destroyer. What, so there's a lot of great that? way to, to tweak it up. It's uh, 20 or 34 inches by 22 inches. Okay, and it comes with these little templates yep. as well. And you've got cards. So a standard dining room table would be enough for a game like this. Absolutely. Absolutely. So tell me a bit about the customization and replayability of the game. Yeah, so there's actually quite a few different things. Even with just in the starter box, uh, each ship comes with multiple ship cards to choose from. There will be planes that you can choose from as well, and Admiral cards. Each one of them is built with points, so you can build out your fleet as you wish. Right. Compared so, to your opponent. So these these ship cards, hold up a ship card. So those ship cards there, um, that's a, a, a one type of ship, but you get a second or third version of that ship? Yeah, in the starter box, uh, almost every ship well, model will say, come you, with two. If you look at that, yes. those are both Falcon. the Falcon model, but comes with slightly different ways to they play. Different build, yeah. yeah. Well, one different was build unbeatable, out. basically. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Always okay. play the Breton, apparently. And so the Admiral cards and your ship composition and your points, so you can see the replayability of your points, so you can say, 54, or a 500 point game or a thousand point game or a 2000 point game. Yeah, the game will be standard at a thousand, but there are absolutely rules for scaling that up and down. Um, there will also be different objectives you can play against and other map variants that will come that has different terrain on it. How many factions are you looking at? There are five factions okay. at the start here. That's crazy. So five factions, multiple points, multiple cards, multiple ship options. So the replayability is insane. Yes. Yep. So a lot of games get judged by fun factor. Okay. Uh, how would you describe the fun factor? What are the fun factors of this game? So I think games that are too perfectly balanced actually aren't very fun. And it seems really counterintuitive, but you want the moments that seem like the game is a little bit broken so that you can have that fun that moment, thrill. That, that thrill of the moment. Luck. Yeah, like, and so, like we had actually. And, and so that's the, the breaking the keel is that yeah. moment. And so we can have this game here where it's been years since I have seen anyone take a ship down that low. So but you can also have the opposite, where I'm coming in feeling all strong, just like he did, uh, or like he was trying to do, and he suddenly hits it and rolls a 20 and it's gone. And you just have those 
oh my gosh moments, or we'll be talking about this or the Facon, we'll be talking about this for oh, months yeah. and months, right? So breaking the keel is after you've damaged the piece, that opens a hole up to snipe through, Correct. and then you break the keel by reducing its structural, uh, integrity. structural integrity enough to make it within a certain rolling range Correct. to allow for that roll to then yep. pop and so, the and so sometimes you get the oh wow of like, I have to roll a perfect 20 on, on two red dice, or other times you're just endlessly beating it down and you just have this sense of like, you can't stop me, right? Uh, so yeah, there, there's lots of really fun wow moments and lots of, even within the dice, there's lots of story moments that come out of the game that you just you keep telling those stories over and over again. So what kind of audience are you looking for when you play this game? There are a couple different audiences ultimately. I mean, anyone who loves miniatures games, we hope that this will be a great thing for them. There's a lot of strategy and a lot of tactics but it's also for people who want to try miniatures games and are a little intimidated by it. The game is designed to be easy to get into and understand by coalescing all of these different modifiers into just grabbing a couple of dice and rolling them. I see, uh, and painters too, people who like to paint their models. Collectors. Absolutely. The ships are, are, are like, look at these ships, like they're, they've got details on them and they come pre-painted, but you yep. can Obviously you you can them. enhance yep. them. You can actually just totally change the paint. And also, you know, anyone that loves naval history, uh, those type of games and those type of players. Just, so there is, even though it is an alternate history, there's still a lot of history. There's oh, well, absolutely. so one of the great. So Harry Turtle Dove, for those that love their alternate history fiction, uh, he is the grandmaster author of writing alternate history, and he has created this template which then everyone else pretty much uses because it's so good, which is you change just one thing and then roll the world forward. What happens when that one thing changes? And this one thing in our universe is this Polish scientist, Renchowski, who, by the way, in the real world, was doing really weird, wacky experiments in the late 1870s. But in ours, he actually created this fluid, you pass electricity through it, and suddenly you can levitate huge amounts of force and then roll the universe forward ah, towards World so War II. You just take, that, you just take yep. that one change and you roll it forward. And so all of the, if you love the World War I era and the Victorian era and Edwardian science fiction, you will find all of that in spades here. Fascinating. Let's talk a bit about price point. And, and quality of the components. Tell me a bit about uh, your theory behind, you know, the, how much you're charging for it, how much it costs to get into the game, and where you can go with it if you really want to get involved. Yeah, so the starter box, uh, which is two cruisers and two destroyers, is $70. Um, but it's very much meant to be a complete experience. A lot of miniatures games um, give you the tools, but then expect you to get other things to put it all together. The starter box has the rules, has the tokens, has maps, really has dice and markers along with the miniatures that are pre-painted. You can get a starter box and you put it right on the board, pull the things out and you're playing in 10 minutes if you know the rules. Lots it of is, upgrades? And there's so many different upgrades from there. There are fleet boxes. Um, neoprene come, maps. Neoprene maps, more dice, um, more tokens, like more plane tokens. So many ways that you can uh, add variety to where you want to take things from there. Well, there you have it. A game of Leviathans, The Great War with Catalyst Game Labs. Thanks to Brandon Randall for showing up. And I'm afraid as, as amazing, as powerful as the Germans were, Bryn's, Bryn is lost and therefore he must shave his head. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're not, you don't have to shave your head. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. We'll talk to you soon.